Hey all! <laughs> Welcome back to another Loaded Dice video, everybody. Um, we're just recounting our time at uh, the Mate Hammer GT down in Maitland, uh, run by the good game there, but it was really the, the more tribe boys there that did that, um, like, uh, was leading the charge there. Um, uh, a fantastic tournament, um, but I'm joined by my uh, fellow Loaded Dice boys. We've got um, Scott Bachelor. Say hi, Scott. Howdy. We've got uh, Josh Vibert. Say hi. Howdy, yo. And William Beal. Hey, yo. Uh, so we're just going to run through um, how the tournament went for all of us. Uh, it went fantastic for all of us, didn't it, boys? It was actually a great weekend. Yeah, it was good. Awesome weekend. Yeah. There was a three and a two in all of our results. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think one of the most fun tournaments that um, we've been to um, in the past, uh, like, two years that we've been um, going to tournaments. Um, like, we, we've, we uh, know the More Tribe boys there quite well. And, um, uh, like, everyone who, who went to the tournament, uh, at least from my experience, um, were great players, um, great people to to enjoy the game with. Um, and, uh, yeah. So For we'll... sure, on, on, the, on the side of sheer enjoyment, it was one of the most enjoyable tournaments I think I've ever played in. Yeah. Um, it hosted it's, really it's, well. People there were great. The f yeah, it was the first time I've come away from a tournament with absolutely zero ready to be done. I was ready to play more games. I, I was having so much fun. Mm. Yeah. So um, that was, uh, yeah. So I think we'll move on to uh, to our, um, our armies, what we played. Um, I think... Uh, Josh, why don't you start us off with um, what you what you started with? Uh, so I finally played a list I should have been playing for a long time, uh, but I took my slaves to darkness. The ruinous uh, powers. The, the, powers. the, the ruinous, ruinous powers. powers. My general only turned into a spawn once. The ruinous <laughs> powers. I'm better than every practice game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just a big block of six Varengard, big well, small block of three Varengard, uh, 20 warriors with the Nurgle mark and the banner, all the fun stuff, uh, Kargadrak, two Sorcerer Lords, and then a unit of Untamed Beasts and a unit of Corvus Cabal. Um, put me on exactly 2,000 points. Um, Idolator Lord and I think it was the Cockroach Crown or the Helm of the Oppressor. I can't remember which one. I always get those confused. But then no Rally or Inspiring Presence uh, and turning my general into a priest. Um which worked quite well because uh, getting damned to my Varen guard and then just healing it back up was good fun. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good list, does a lot of damage, and it's exactly what I like playing. Uh, sorry, I should have said uh, in Knights of the Empty Throne, so everything with a mount runs and charges, uh, which meant with the 3 6 charge spell, I was I was pretty pretty much getting into everyone whenever I wanted to get into them. And what was your um, so a very mobile right? list. Uh, Overshadow, which worked sometimes because <laughs> everything on my list that's not a hero is battle line but i sometimes the list runs out of steam and i just can't kill the battle line um so it worked sometimes it worked it didn't work other times but it was kind of the one i thought would be the most reliable um but i think i'll have to have a look at it for the next couple of tournaments and see if there's a, a better one to take um, yeah. So I came out of the tournament with uh, three wins, two losses, uh, and just a hell of a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's so good to hear. Uh, and what are you working on there? Yeah. Uh, I've got a um, the, oh, Chaos Lord and Demonic Mount. Um, mm. It's just using a little couple little different parts so that he uh, looks like Vanek from the Scourge of Fate book. Because uh, yeah. I kind of love that book, as you all know. <laughs> um, and I'm a, just a massive Varengard fanboy, so I'm just using him to start uh, planning out my new scheme for my, my Varengard list. Yeah, oh, very nice. Mm. Yeah. Getting getting all excited for Abraxia. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Scott, why don't you run us through uh, your list and, and your time at uh, Mate Hammer? Yeah, sure. Um, so I was running uh, Cruel Boys, uh, my next um, jank army, my... <laughs> I'm the tank extraordinaire. Mm. Um, I ran them as Grin and Blades, so my whole army is not visible outside of 12 inches. Um, yeah, because I tried running them in big yellows, but every time I would, all my good stuff would get shot off the board, so you can't <laughs> see me. 
Um, yeah. It was running the the big boys, so I had my general, who's a killer boss on Corpse uh, Ripper Vulture. Um, he had the super sneaky command trait, so just take anything off the board before turns chosen, throw them anywhere on the board outside of nine, just some good good jank. Um, mm -hmm. Had Gobsprack uh, and the Snatcher boss on Sludge Raker Beast, just all the favorites. And uh, my new addition, which is a breaker boss on Maya, Maya Brute and Trogoff, which I gave him the, the fasted mount trait. Generally what I'd do is pick him up su super sneaky, pop him right next to the enemy team and just be like, all right, deal with him. I'm going to chill here for a hot minute. Um, I had two Swamp Caller Shamans. They're just giving uh, poison to the Bolt Boys that I had in the, in the team. Just normal Cruel Boys stuff. Mm -hmm. um, which, to that note, Two units of six Bolt Boys, two <laughs> units of ten Gut Rippers, and ten Hopgrot Slitters, who lived to die. They ne they didn't survive any of those games. <laughs> <Because he brought's laughs> over the, the, the Bolt Boys just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Like, they're not the interesting part. The interesting part is just big boys. I got two big chickens and a big lizard, and they were amazing. Mm. And it was, yeah, it's been um, really fun to play. I went 3-2 at Mate Hammer. Um, I was the Cruel Boys bully, because I went <laughs> against two other Cruel Boys, and um, yeah, we had a, a good, good little route. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that is my army. Yeah, very nice. Lovely. Um, and you uh, you also got um, uh, Best in Destruction in the end, so best you... Best uh, in Destruction! Yeah, 100%. Uh, We're you not out of the game yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, so you're, you're, you're pretty much chilling from, from, uh, the hobby in at the moment. Yeah. You smashed all your army out. Like, well, you had like an hour of sleep the night before and, <laughs> game day. I was awake at 3am, finished painting, slept for an hour, woke <laughs> up at four, picked up you guys from Port Macquarie and then drive all the way down. And then play yeah. three games, I, and then go drink it that yeah, night. Play three, games. <laughs> <laughs> like three games, an hour of sleep. Yeah. I was just running on sheer power of will. Yeah. Uh, I think looking at models give me PTSD at the moment, so I think we're good for a minute. Yeah, a hundred percent. But yeah, um, so amazing results for, for. Well, it's an amazing list, and um, I'm glad you went so well with it. Um, how about you, Will? What was uh, what were you running? I was running the latest and greatest filth that is Flesh Eater Quartz. I was feeling pretty <laughs> delusional. Um, yeah, I took a... We're I took already a, getting hit with this snake oil salesman oh, already. It is. It is they, <laughs> look, man. Look, me and the Flesh Eater Quartz, they sell themselves. Um, look, I, <laughs> I just ran a fun Hollow Moon list. Uh, my Grand Strat was Overshadow. I'm just working down the top of it. Grand strategy was overshadow, which was, yeah, it was it was all right. I ran two arch regents, <laughs> um, one with the command trait that like the feverish scholar. So if he has no zero to five noble deeds, he gets plus one to cast a spell and unbind. But as soon as he hits that six noble deeds, he gets plus two, which was honestly great, amazing at just keeping up with other magic armies, but also ensuring that I can get a couple of my little buffs off. Um, when I ran a normal arch regent, uh, my general had blizzard and deranged transformation, which is plus two to move, plus one to wound. If you cast it on ten or more, you can pick three units within eighteen. Um, my second arch regent had crimson victuals, which lets me do mortal wounds and bring back uh, one wound models. And he had hoarfrost. I also ran a Maris scroll herald uh, with the carnal vestments which makes him a priest and then gave him the five up ward prayer which is very good i do really like that little combo um it came very, mm. it came in clutch a lot of times um and then i also ran and super out. strong especially if you have like a uh, arcane there just my uh, like plus three to yeah. unbind is yeah uh, um mm. oh yeah, yeah for the general yeah um yeah. I also ran a Gore Warden, um, and he was basically there to just deep strike six more big knights, and that was him. He miscast. I lost count of the amount of many the times he miscast. I think it was around eight <laughs> or nine, including two primal miscasts, just because he felt like it. 
Um, I ran mm. a Vargolf Courtier because it is such a fun model and it is such a heat like a horde killer that it is just Cope. insane not to run it's great um <laughs> i then chucked in a cheeky little 40 block ghouls uh because they're fun <laughs> little, love, love little my cheeky block little 40 block them. Of ghouls. i hate them <laughs> carried them around in a little baggie <laughs> and apologized to all of oh, my that, that opponents. actually hurts me You're disgusting <laughs> yeah apologized to, to all my teammates for not running rumor trees um mm. six horrors three horrors um, the secret source of six more big nights. Um, I reckon it, I don't think anybody else is running it these days. You know, nobody understands the value of more big nights like I do. Um, and then the visionary. Um, and then twenty royal beast flayers. Um, and I had wizard finders, which in the ghouls, beast flayers, and the Vargolf, which Vargolf was my secret luminate luminate tech. Shout out Steven, <laughs> cop that for all his models and me having to get four extra attacks just because. <laughs> uh, and then my ghoul's getting a hundred attacks into his wardens <laughs> just because. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I have Five and sixes auto wound. Yeah, yeah fives and sixes auto wound. And then each ghoul's got like four extra, t- like four attacks per mm. ghoul, fighting two ranks deep. It's mm. just. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. What's your thoughts on fives and sixes auto wound, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> fives and sixes auto wound is not a crazy ability. Will rolling fives and sixes to auto wound is absolutely <laughs> nice. How, that unit of 20 killed like three Varangard. Mm. It was disgusting. Oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, I'll attack with something else. There's no way those ghouls are going to take down more than one Varangard. Oh no! <laughs> the uh, the definite highlights of the tournament was Wizard Finders and people being like, "I hate that forty oh. block of ghouls. I'm gonna blizzard them." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, not with a five up, you ain't." <laughs> and you rock that five up like it's going out of fashion. <laughs> Mm. I sell wizard finders. People are like, oh, it's good. And then oh. they never roll the five up. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, I went, I did go 2-3. I had some pretty rough matchups. As amazing as Flesh Eater Quartz are, oh, I'm still learning with the army and still figuring out those painful battle tactics as any Flesh Eater Quartz player knows. They just struggle. Mm. Still got best in death. <laughs> but best I got in... best in death. <laughs> no! <you> know, no! <laughs> Which uh, is is actually kind of funny, as everybody's been saying how nuts Flesh Eaters is, but like all of us Flesh Eater players didn't score positive at that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my little little hot take there. Uh, but yeah, all in all, was a great tournament. I had so much fun. Um, in terms of hobby, I am working on a royal zombie dragon. Uh, unlike the Soulblight zombie dragon, it's it's not royal. Unlike mine. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, in terms of me, yeah, quite yeah, very nice. Yeah, well, I uh, brought Soulblight like I always do, uh, but for like um, like a month or two, I'd been like trying out like a whole bunch of other lists. I'd, I tried some Nighthaunt out. I tried out some um, Seraphon, more coalesced um, version, uh, just to try out some new things. Um, but just didn't have them painted up. Uh, and so I really wasn't thinking about Soul Blight. So I took a uh, last minute list, which I, I put together in, in less than like three minutes. Um, and, until three minutes before deadline. Yeah. And then dealt with those consequences. But um, yeah, it was a, uh, a Legion of Night list because uh, I don't think I've, I took it to a one day tournament. Um which I did win that one day tournament, but um, uh, shout out Port Plunder. <laughs> um, but uh, like I hadn't taken it to any like two day tournaments. And so I brought 80 zombies, which was a mistake because I didn't want to move 80 zombies uh, and attack with 80 zombies. And uh, I brought Manfred, which I love Manfred. Uh, I brought a uh, vampire lord with the shaman of the chilled lands and the morbeg's claw so just a little bit of disgusting filth a necromancer so i can put the them both in antorian acolytes and i paid for it because i got blizzard off uh 
like four times uh and my vampire lord killed himself with blizzard twice so um uh, he is he's all he's already sick of casting blizzard um it's been how long has it been since we've had blizzard and, and acolytes it's it's been a while using all my primals to unbind blizzard yeah it's <laughs> blizzard yeah so i i feel like oh, i was like yeah i love playing blizzard we're all like it's no, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan either. I'm. I'm sick of. I'm sick of it as well. Although I did love that um, we played no risk, no reward. Uh, spoilers for for ahead. Ooh, yeah. I got to. I got to take first turn and Blizzard first turn. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll explain more when we actually get to, to that round there. Um, uh, and what else did I take? I took Black Knights, which is what I really wanted to take. I think if I had more Black Knights, I would have just tried to take as many Black Knights as I could and, and have a fun um, couple of games. Um, but yeah, um, I think that was everything. A White King to go with the Black Knights. Uh, that range. Was, oh, and Felbats. Yeah, of course. Um, some good battle tactics with the Felbats there. Um, and just like a pretty solid unit all around. Definitely. Um, uh, I only went two three, so um, uh, not not too good. But like I, uh, best, uh, yeah, Will and I, we, have to, best, we have to we have to represent two, um, two plus three equals five. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, this was one of uh, like as we've all been saying the most fun tournaments. Um, I've like had some of the most uh, like fun to play against uh, like opponents in this. Um, uh, like in the the couple of years that I've been playing tournaments, um, but yeah, um, and then for hobby wise, I recently bought the Monster Hunter World board game, and um, I'm going to hopefully be running some Monster Hunter guys into my D and D group, um, which hopefully should I'm be excited to chop its head off. No, so we're not actually sponsored. <laughs> not actually sponsored. <laughs> um but yeah so um uh, a very fun um uh list in the end because i uh i learned my abc's this tournament always be charging um which i pretty much got like half my army into my opponent's face turn one it's pretty good um but i uh, i did lose a couple of games because of it um but yeah Thanks i think breaks. yeah I think um, we'll head on to uh, round ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we'll start off with uh, you, William. How did Ooh. your uh, round one go? Oh, yeah, I I you. <laughs> so, I did. <laughs> um, so, I went up against Katie, yeah, uh, from the Central Coast. Uh, her and I are great friends. We constantly talk outside. And with her just finishing her thesis, congratulations, Katie. Um, we wanted to catch up because we haven't seen each other in ages, so we decided Mate Hammer would be great for our annual grudge match. Um, yeah, it was it was awesome. Actually, like a very great game. Um, she took the perfect counter to my list. I was so proud of my deep striking more bags, and then they move an extra d6. Uh, and I was so excited for it. And then they revealed her list, and it had the Glock Kid. Uh, who <laughs> at the end of the movement phase can counter charge. And so I had to go back and forward with rules of being like, well, mine's also at the end of the movement phase, so can I sequence it? And we went through debates. We worked out that the Glockkins thing doesn't come into effect until a model is within 12, and then he can activate it. Um, basically, I could not get around it. And also it was Nurgle. Um, Flesh Eater Court's a very low rend, high damage, but with Nurgle being so tanky, um, I was just I was just punching, punching and punching and punching, and they just wouldn't die. Um, she ran a real yeah, real fun list with the Glockkin, um, a unit of three beasts of Nurgle with some other little cheeky beasts of Nurgle, Shaman of the Chilled Land, Pox Bringer, so that she could have a Fowling Host. Um, and have mm. the extra tree, uh, Horticulus, because got to take the slime, got to take the snail mail when you're taking the beasts, um, mm. and then just some plague bears. And another tree. Yeah, and another tree. 
Uh, and a gorgeous model of the field. Like, mm, such yeah. a cool model. Uh, I don't remember mm. my final score. I'll see if I can find it here. Oh, yeah, so it was KD 23 to me 7 in terms of the tournaments with battle tactics and denies and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, absolutely mm. smashed me because I just couldn't punch through. But it was such a back and forward game um, of me hitting hard, KD getting worried and think that she's losing it, but then coming back and then me getting worried. But then I spent all my noble deeds and brought back my stuff, so then, like, it flipped on its head and it just went back and forward. It was great. By the end of it, we were just... We just, like, yeah, did it. No, we just ended it. We tallied up points. She won. We were just happy. We were just excited. Like, it was such a mm. bloody game by the end of it. Yeah, it was just awesome. Um, but, yeah, she did win. Cop the first loss. But, you know, it's okay. I was it's a tactical submarine, you know, just <laughs> going down. I was in that delusion. Um, yeah, well, I know I, exactly how the tactical submarine as well. <laughs> I got I got noble deeds. That's all I cared about. My boy's got little little gold stars. <laughs> Mm. Very nice. Uh, well, how about your yourself, Josh? How did your game one go? My game one was up against Flesh Eater Courts, uh, so I had a bit of practice because I've versed Will. Yes, Brendan. Um, quite new to the army he was, um, and, and so at points I knew rules um, just as well as he did. Thank you, Will, mm -hmm. for, for all the practice. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and also being next to you at the tables and you just coming around like, can yeah, he yeah. do this and i'm like yeah, no. <laughs> oh it was um it was a good game it was a good game um he had six two units of six horrors and six more big knights and then two units of 20 ghouls and then a, a couple heroes um i gave him first he wasn't able to get into me because uh, I'd screened quite well and so it wasn't worth dropping the Morbegs. Uh, I then got turned and butt rushed him with all my knights and Varangard and such. Um, three oh, Varangard killed powers. six. Yeah, the ruinous powers. Three Varangard killed six horrors. Uh, six Varangard killed 40 ghouls and, and all that fun stuff. Um, I spiked quite hard with the damage, and then the game just progressed from there. Each of us getting points, uh, so it was quite a big victory, though thirty-two to seventeen. Mm. Um, but definitely a fun game, um, and, a, and a and a good good win to start the tournament off. Yeah, and um, like it must feel so good, like playing um, like slave so much to actually like be able to get in and, and get your first win oh, immediately. It's, yeah, it's brilliant, especially because. I have a feeling I was a bit scared subconsciously about taking slaves to tournaments because I, I like they're my baby of an army. I, I love them, mm. um, and I don't want to go badly with them. Um, and so, like I've I've had my success with Avangori, and so I was tempted to take them, but I decided I, I wanted to field my Baron Guard. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, and so, yeah, being nice, the empty throne and the the big charges and the damage, it's. It's just insane. And Demonic Power is the best spell in the game. Maybe <laughs> Mystic Shield beats it, but Demonic Power is just so good. At least in my list. Like, no. I don't know. Plus one to hit and wound on Varangard till my next hero phase is just... Ah, you can't charge. It's boggy. So good. <laughs> the, mist. the Mist says so. The Mist says no. That stupid spell that technically should be an endless spell, but isn't an endless spell. <laughs> oh. but no, demonic spears. Yeah, demonic, demonic, no, power demonic, power. On, demonic power is amazing. On demonic spear is also good. Horrifying. It makes me just not want to verse you ever. And mm. then, like, you, you put. So I take my big block of demon bound blades, and then a small block of fell spears. And the fell spears need damned or an all out attack and a charge, and they're hitting and wounding on twos. The, the big block of six is hitting and winning on twos because of the spell. It's just, it's a ridiculously efficient, ridiculous damage output army. Um, mm. And those three, the, th the three block killed a lot more than I thought they would. Um, the, the three the unit fighting twice killed, killed, um, what's the Kurnoth hero, the new one, Belthanos? That's the one, Belthanos. Mm. Uh, three block of them fighting twice went after like not even on the charge being charged killed belthanos in my last game that was quite spoilers cool. spoilers oh spoilers, 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 spoilers. them killing <laughs> like eight horrors like it was just 
the fight twice is insane because if you charge two units of Arangard and I fight with one of them, you either choose to fight back and stop that unit getting casualties or maybe reduce it's, it's, it's a real tough decision that people have to make mm. um, that I usually end up coming out on top of because at the end of the day, I'm still attacking with more Varangard and you beat. <laughs> yeah, but yeah very good, nice. good game, uh, good opponent, uh, and a great way to start the tournament. Yeah, sweet. Well, how about you, Scott? How did you do in your first game? My game one, it was probably the perfect matchup for me. So I, I went up against the legend Craig Anderson. Mm. He was bringing his own lot of jank. Um, he was playing Cruel Boys, but he was playing Big Yellers. So he yeah. could uh, he could shoot me from an extra three inches away. The problem was he couldn't <laughs> see me at all. Yeah. So what he was running, he was running um, four um, Beast, Killer, uh, Beast Skewer Killbows. Yeah, um, these it, I love it, them. it was it, it was an amazing army to look at. Um, unfortunately, though, for him, it kind of went in the way where he big took, rough matchup. He, he, he was given first turn. He couldn't shoot at me. He moved up a little bit. I was able to put my bolt boys right in front. Um, do a bunch of damage as soon as it got to my turn. And I, I, I double turned him, so oh, I, 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 I was able to, yeah, crump him really hard. Even with like just hammering him down with the bolt boys, I was able to score full, full points. Um, but the probably where the decider was was his turn two came around. He um, did the the fun cruel boys battle tactic. Um, we you've got to do ten wounds of mortal wounds and not suffer 10 wounds or mortal wounds mm. um so we primal miscast his first wizard he did uh four mortal <laughs> wounds to it and um then his um second wizard cast a spell and gobsprack being the legend he was unbound it and did six damage to him as a oh. um, result of that. <laughs> and before we even got out of the hero phase his battle tactic was done and it mm. was it, it it just goes to show even if cruel boys is fighting cruel boys it is a sneaky army it is got <laughs> tricks um you know it, even right down to the wire like right near the end of the game i was running out of battle tactics and the only things left in his back line were the kill bows which weren't able to shoot anything the whole game so i charged <laughs> i charged my general into the kill bows thinking all right let's get a appraisal he sits there he shoots my general down I'm like, all right, I'll go for a reprisal. All of my, <laughs> um, all of my bolt boys just hammered down, and this poor, poor killbo sitting at the back of two wounds left, and it <laughs> fell. And um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, um, he wasn't able to get his um, grand strat, which was, I believe, to keep all of his. Yeah, he had overshadow, so you know, keep all of his battle line alive. It, it mm. was a complete table by turn four. But it was probably the counter. So uh, he did well in his other games, but this was just the matchup he didn't want. It definitely was. Like, his list is based around shooting. I, I looked at it and went, oh, he's got kill bows and you've got big monsters. Rough gig for Scott. But then the fact that he can't shoot you, it's just, yeah, rough. Yep, yep. Rough, rough, rough. And it was, uh, like, he played it as well as he could. Like, because he, he did have... Um, he did have 18 uh, Bolt Boys. So anytime I'd charge something into them, I had to be really selective because he could only unleash hell so many times. Um, mm. But yeah, it was, you know, at the end of the day, um, yeah. Um, it, it was a fun game. It was a great opponent. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a bit of a rough, rough matchup for him. Yeah, very nice. Sounds it. Yeah. Still, still a great opponent. Fun game. But, yeah. Mm, got that dub. Very nice. Well, my first yeah, game was also... Go. How was your first game, Carl? Yeah. It was also Crawl Boys. Uh, and no. uh, I thought I was doing really well uh, in most of the first turn. Uh, and then it all kind of went downhill. <laughs> 
so my first turn, uh, I out dropped. So I had the choice whether I could um, uh, like take first or second, and um, I decided that I'd go for it, and I took first turn, um, which was great because I killed um, his. So this was uh, this was Dean. Um, he had uh, two units of six bolt boys and a killbo. Uh, he also had the Slud Draker, and uh, you've said his name a bunch of times. The uh, the Umbind Gobsprack. Gobsprack, yeah. He had Gobsprack as well. Uh, so it was um, uh, it was looking like it could go either way. Uh, so I was like, I'll take first and I'll see if I can cripple as much as I can. I got rid of six bolt boys and uh, the killbo uh, pretty much immediately. Uh, but I had to charge in Manfred because I failed the charge and a bunch of other things. And Manfred and like those other things were kind of sitting out ready to be shot. So I took the gamble, put Manfred in, the, the killbo, um, that fell quickly. And so did the, the six bolt boys. But he got his Slud Draker into to Manfred, and um, he should have gone to the casino that day because all of those sixes that he rolled to kill Manfred, uh, Manfred, Slud Draker. No. yeah, um, it's such a cool model, um, such a like a like a good unit in the game as well, uh, and Manfred died pretty quickly, and then he got his turn, and then my gamble didn't pay off because I got doubled. And so just all that damage into into my face. Um, I did only lose by two points though. So like um, it was a uh, it was a good game, but um, yeah, just one of those ones where like I love my man Fred and he died immediately. So <laughs> it's a bit rough. The, the um, inside but... joke that the second Manfred dies in any of Carl's games, he gives up. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's only true. Most of the time, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he was a, a Dean was a great opponent. I think um, Scott, you also had a game with him later on in the tournament. Um, uh, like just a great fun game, like no matter the outcome. Yeah, he's a and great um, yeah, hundred um, percent. I got some charges off, and to be honest, like it was like model for model, we were like trading pretty well. Uh, zombies exist. Um, oh, he also did the uh, um, the battle tactic to to deal ten, but not take ten. But he actually had to come into to like melee combat with me because he didn't quite um, make it with his bolt boys. Um, uh, with his other unit of six, uh, I was I managed to luckily survive the first round. And zombies did nine damage back. Yep. One away from from um, denying that battle tactic, which would have tied us tied the game up. But you live um, on the edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You live by the uh, you live by the dice. You die by the dice. Um, but yeah, um, great game, great player. Um, I had lots of fun in this game, uh, and I really made the most out of the uh, the list. Um, but yeah, you can't win them all. In fact, I definitely cannot win them all. I <laughs> lost most of them. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, guess right, round two. two. Yeah. Mm, game um, two. We're, I think we're all feeling pretty... Still enjoying it? Still enjoying it? Um, mm. Feeling it? Yeah. It was, it yeah, was it a good energy. It yeah. went downhill a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's hear it then, Scott. How did it go downhill for you? <laughs> Austin Cranfield, where do I begin? Where do I begin? <laughs> you begin by saying how beautiful he is. <laughs> he's as janky as me, but he's twice a better player, and that scares the hell out of me. Um, so he was running Cities of Sig Sigma Misthaven. Um, mm -hmm. So in his... Oh, so I... So previous tournament, I tried Steam Tanks, and, you know, I, I knew the orders, but I haven't played it... Um, this year at all and you know i generally i didn't touch any of the orders that he used which were the good ones um <laughs> which which, which i've learned um so his sub faction lets him move 
uh, D3 units in the hero phase, D6 I think it's, or... I think it's just three units D6, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Or um, And then they can move D6 or 2D6 if they have a mount, which was good because he had two uh, units of six um, knights. And um, they just were able to zoom across the board. But something that surprised me is that he held off for a moment. And um, mm. uh, as I did, I super sneakied my uh, Maya Brute uh, in the middle of the field, thinking, all right, I'm out of range. I'll go for that objective that uh, those 10 d delicious, juicy steel helms were on. <laughs> um, got to them. Uh, realized I was within 11 inches of a uh, griff Griffin. And mm. um, he's, he's like, all right, I'm going to counter charge. And I'm like, oh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so he rolls two sixes. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> and in comes the griffin. <laughs> um, so needless to say, the, um, the he tried as best as he could, the uh, Maya Brute, but he wasn't able to get enough damage in. And um, on the counter charge, the griffin had rent four. And... Um, mm. It was a it, it was a dead Ooh. Maya brute. It was a dead Maya brute. Ooh. It was not good. It was not a good day for the cruel boys. Mm. Um, I left him on two wounds. I left that Griffin Ooh. on two wounds. Um, at the end that's, of the day, that's respectable. It, it is as good as I could do. But um, yep, yeah, he had his turn. He moved a bit more forward. The um. His Wilder Corp hunters, they they don't do mortal wounds anymore in missile attacks, uh, but they do still hurt a lot. And when the mm. dogs get in, the dogs get in. Um, that, <laughs> I think had... those dogs killed a vampire lord on Zombie Dragon that game. Like uh, uh, a, uh, a Cloak of Mist and Shadows one too. Yeah, theory, they, yeah. They, they killed a Sludge Raker. Uh, not that turn though. In, in, in turn two, he just moved forward a little bit. You know, capped some objectives. Didn't didn't do much damage, but he was setting up. Um, I won the prio, so I was thinking, okay, I'll try and turn this around. I'll zoom Gobsprack in my Vulture uh, General up the board and try and do those final two wounds on the uh, on the Griffin. Uh, moved everyone up a little bit. Um, realized that yes, not only can I not be seen outside of 12 inches, neither can the Wildercorp. <laughs> so, I could not shoot his big unit of Wildercorp. Um, yeah. But that's fine. I, um, you know, I was able to shoot at some other, um, uh, his six Less Wildercorp looking things. <laughs> it it Less always hurts. Less looking things. Yeah, I did it always take hurts off when you're, uh, yeah. Um, which, you know, may have razzled him just a little bit, but it wasn't enough because... I charged Gobsprack and I charged that uh, that other vulture in, thinking, "Yep, I just got to do two wounds. I just got to roll a six. <laughs> Twenty attacks between two two vultures, a ward, so they could all do all of theirs at once. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a single six. I got one six <laughs> on his backup stabber on Gobsprack, and I did one mortal wound." <laughs> because the griffin's um command trait is grizzled veteran he can only be wounded on a four so any of my other attacks that get in i couldn't wound him mm. he was alive and when he won the following prio nothing else was left uh the, the vulture made it he zoomed around the board and capped some objectives but it wasn't enough by the time it got to turn four uh his the rest of his knights got in. The Wildercorp got in. Uh, unfortunately, he was just able to shoot off, uh, get in range and shoot off the rest of my Bolt Boys because they have a T-shirt save. There was no looking out for them. It, it was it was a bad time. It was a bad mm -hmm. time. Um, he scored almost max points to me. Um, but oh, I, I feel cool. like it's a really technical army. He plays it really well. And I should have known what he was capable of. So now that I know, I feel like I could do a bit better. Um, but he's a great player. Really good at the game. Great guy. Um, I'd love a rematch. I'd bloody love a rematch. <laughs> so, um, that's, but that's yeah. That's your blood rights. <laughs> As, I'm excited. Have mm. have fun. He's, he's going he's gonna to hurt you. He's gonna, emotionally. <laughs> emotionally. Have fun because you know he will. <laughs> 
Rip all my, right, rip but all yeah. my Nurgle marks that won't matter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah, that was my game too. Lovely. Yeah, very nice. Well, um, I might as well go. Uh, my game two was a mirror matchup between uh, a, another Soul Blight uh, Legion of Night. So that was um, uh, a lot like uh, Cruel Boys. Like we, we were reacting, doing the exact same thing, um, messing with each other's game plans. Like uh, I don't think either of us could have afforded to do uh, the uh, battle tactic uh, magical dominance because one one of us would teleport outside of thirty and then the other one would teleport inside of thirty <laughs> and just and just mess with each other. Um, and uh, the counter charge came up um, so much, uh, and of course we both had the same army, so we were both looking out for. For each other making sure that neither one of us got to counter charge um but yeah it was a um a very fun game uh who was i up against uh jeremy yeah jeremy he um he had some some great like game knowledge and he took probably what i would um rather have taken he took like 40 um skeletons in in 10 blocks he took uh, a unit of 10 dire wolves which I don't know why I didn't take dire wolves. Uh, I love them so much. Uh, and he uh, uh, he also had Manfred, a vampire lord, and a necromancer. Um, and this game was to the wire. Um, it was, uh, what was it, limited resources, the uh, the battle plan. So uh, it, it um, the game between us really came down to the battle plan. And I just had that like little bit of extra, like um, I was able to to get like those last few um, points um, end of game where he had swamped the board too early and controlled too many objectives, and uh, um, he had by turn turn five he had one that he could um, capture, and I had three objectives that I could still capture, which um, meant that like it was neck and neck right up until the end, and I just shot up. Um, and we both denied each other's grand strategies. Uh, so it, it came out to, to 1921 my way. Um, so like super close, even though I maybe should have, um, like lost it. Uh, there was one point in the game where I just, um, moved Manfred up. He was outside of three of anybody, um, but he was holding an objective down, um, and h hiding behind the tree. Um, next to Manfred was his vampire lord that also had Blizzard. And so I went, I want Manfred to stay on this objective. I'll give him a uh, finest hour. And Jeremy went, oh, so you're leaving Manfred there? And I went, yeah, I think I'll leave Manfred there. And then Jeremy immediately went Blizzard and rolled, <laughs> rolled two dice and then um, matched it up. Uh, with the plus two to cast, um, I just couldn't beat his blizzard roll. Um, and Manfred took like 18 mortal wounds. <laughs> he was, he was not ah, living. He deserves it. He hundred percent deserved it. Um, and so, uh, Manfred died, I think turn two. So, um, I almost gave up. Was this is close to give it up. Um, I, can't no. kill him. I can't kill him no matter what I do. Everyone else <laughs> seems to be having a field day. Yeah. Manfred, everybody's like favorite target to kill except for Josh's. Josh just... I love trying to kill him. I just can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Again, it was it was one of those matchups that um, because of the grave sites and because of um, the teleports and the counter charges, it was one of those really interesting games where... Um, like we had to be careful of how we measured, um, and be conscious that like, uh, there's eight grave sites that we can pop up anywhere from. So like screening is, is super important depending on how, like how well we could do. Uh, but 80 zombies is in fact 80 zombies. I don't know if you guys know this. 
Um, hey, 40 and... goals. 40 goals over here. <laughs> you I should get have it. just played like... Nine Barragard. <laughs> and just put like six dragons down. Just you guys, you guys all say fun. this, but 40 goals can clog up... Sorry, 80 goals can clog... What am I even saying? Zombie. 80 zombies. Delusion's working. He's converting <laughs> you. 80 zombies can clog up the board. Something fierce. And... Um, I think that was the that that ended up winning me the game was just the uh, the fact that I could have that board presence. I think um, one unit of eighty zombies was in combat with Manfred, a unit of twenty. Actually, sorry, it was two units of ten skeletons and a unit of twenty, because the eighty zombies were Manfred, a unit of twenty skeletons, and a unit of ten skeletons. That's what they were in combat with over like three different objectives and um, I could just spread out as much as I wanted and I was still like keeping um, three inches away and then um, my other unit of 80 zombies um, charged into that same unit of 20 skeletons and so it was just hordes like ravaging the board like making sure that I was um, where I needed to be and uh, yeah I got my battle tactics Um, I got my my points it was um uh, a good game um and uh yeah again another one of those really fun games mm. uh but yeah i think um uh will how did your how did your second game go yeah <laughs> oh man i don't know i didn't I, don't, to... I was up against sean and first off shout out sean you're a legend for putting up with me being absolutely just brain dead. Um, so I went into Sean Tufnell from the Western Warriors. Honestly, this was a great game as well. All of my games over the, like, the whole weekend were just fun. But this mm. one was a highlight. Um, we were both just exhausted. And I've fought Gits before. I've lost a whole half an army to the Gits in one turn. I've got Gits PTSD. And I mentioned it to Sean. I was like, oh, look, I'm sorry, man. But I've got Gits PTSD. Um, and he's like, that's all good. He's like, we're just going to have a fun game. It's going to be sick. Um, then he puts down 36 squig herd. No, 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 no. We were both like, yeah, we're going to have fun. <laughs> it's going to be cool. We're going to do And then turn one, like battle round one, we both don't score a battle tactic because we just we just forget. Like, we, we just kind of look at it. We're like, oh, we just, we just missed out on a battle. We just... What do what do we do wrong? <laughs> so we're like, okay, no, 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 we'll we'll pull our, pull our stuff together. We'll go for the next, a push your second turn. We both don't get a battle tactic. Like we're just like looking at each other. We're like, are we are we playing a good like are we playing the game or are we just are we just moving models around for the sake of moving models around? I put six like six horrors like buffed up horrors into his like boy group battles. I was like, yeah, I was like they're dead, Sean. Looked like he thought the same thing that I was thinking. My horrors bounce off him. And I'm like, oh, okay. What happens now? Sean's like, yeah, they've got still red three. So they just eat my horrors. And I'm like, that's sick. That's awesome. Anyway, halfway through, I'm like, oh yeah, my hero heals D3. And I roll the three and I look at it. I'm like, yeah, so he heals three. And then Sean's like, no, Will. It's D3. I'm like, yeah, Sean, there's a three on the dice. And he's like, no, but it's D3. And I'm like, yeah, but Sean, there's a three on the dice. And he's <laughs> <laughs> we just went back and forth. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, I'm in the wrong here, aren't I? And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, and I kid you not, for the life of me, I just couldn't think it. I was like, what? I was like, Sean's looking at me. I know I'm doing something wrong, but I just can't think of what I'm doing. There's, <laughs> there's a three on the dice. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, kid, I kid you not, in uh, my brain, three means the, blue, monkey, silly, silly. the monkey doing the tambourine. I just couldn't. It became a good mm. meme that later on, uh, I did a D3 heal again, and Sean's like, now, Will, remember it's D3. And I'm like, <laughs> Sean... There's a three on the dice, man. <laughs> he heals three. Nah, it was it was a great game. Sean beat me uh, barely because <laughs> we both just didn't score. Uh, but he was able to table me towards the end. Uh, and by the end of it, we both were just like, 
just went straight for an energy drink because we needed it. We still had one more game of the day and yeah, it we were the last struggling. Blue thing, God damn. <laughs> yeah, it took the last blue thing. <laughs> But Best yeah. in death, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Best in death forgot two battle tactics. And can't read D3. <laughs> but no, nah, it was awesome. Oh, bro, D3 gets me sometimes. I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to read that one. Oh, man. It just, it just was like I was looking at him. He was looking at me, and I just couldn't understand it. Because like, just, it just didn't click. But no, nah, it was mm. awesome. Um, I'm excited for Sean and I's next game. But yeah, it was sick. It was a great game, too. Mm, very nice and then um i think we'll end it off i think this is a positive note yeah yeah, yeah game go, three go, game three yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, how, we how haven't heard we, we're going to game four next um, <laughs> how did the ruinous powers go how did the ruinous powers go no 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 i haven't played oh, that <laughs> um <laughs> no. i think half of you got the joke half of you were like wait a minute what about josh <laughs> um, yeah, so I played another play? game against Flesh Eater Chords. So good. It seems <laughs> um, He gave me, he's like, oh, I don't know how I won the first one, but I don't know how I'm going to win the next oh, one. I, was like, You're I hate <laughs> I hate any army that just goes, oh, they're back. <laughs> no, they're alive. But Josh, you don't understand. Oh. It's because we're so noble that we oh. <laughs> they just come back. They yeah, just wanna... you're so noble. You come back. I'm the ruinous powers, and I get turned into a yeah, skull. And I'm the delusionous <laughs> powers, bro. Oh. Don't care. Ooh. Oh, you scored that objective. The chaos gods think you should die. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so I was up against Rian with uh, I think it's Rian. Um, Rian. Rian. Sorry, with uh, Morgan List. Um, I'm protect the other flesh eater courts, please. Yeah, bro. Oh, no, that's on me. That's on me. Uh, great opponent. Really fun to play against. Um, he had 40 Beast Slayers, 30 Crypt Guard, Ushran, and some heroes with uh, Mr. Mister, Mister Judgment himself. Gourmain. Gourmain, um, which came in cl- absolutely clutch for him. Gourmain. Uh, so we deployed. Uh, he is a noble boy. And I went, what's your move? And he went, oh, this, 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 this. I was like, cool. I think I'm safe. You can have first. And, went, cool. and then by the end of the charge phase, Usharan was in my front line. Yeah. Which was fine because my front line was 40 noble warriors and ten no- uh, five noble knights. And so it came around. He did very little damage. I actually did quite a bit of damage to his crypt guard. And then it came around to my turn. And there was three uh, six Varen guards sitting there looking very hungry. Uh, so I didn't even have to move them. They were just that close. I just charged how'd, in. Um, how did Ushran get up so quick in the first turn? Uh, Ushran, oh, sorry, completely forgot to mention. Gourmet. He rolled the three up for Gormain and got to run and charge into me. Oh, so so Gormain cool. can pick a unit on the board. He doesn't. Mm. He just needs visibility, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep. On a three That's plus, 30. you get run and charge no. so long as you're finishing your charge. Um, within half an inch. Within half an inch of that unit. Yeah, Great ability. Right. It is not a three up. Yeah. Uh, but when it works, it works. And I am, I'm a sucker for run and charge. Uh, so <laughs> I just go. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, Ushran and Crypt Guard got into me very quickly. Um, but I was able to just use my activations correctly to get rid of his Crypt Guard and then attack into Ushran, so the Ushran had less rend, uh, not less rend, less ward. Um, and then I put everything I had. After Usharan into, I think I doubled him, um, and I put everything I had into into the beast players, um, and wiped them off, and then just kind of started playing objectives. And he's like, "Okay, they're back." I was like, <laughs> "Cool." So you bring back like one flame master, two gorillas, and uh, he's like, "Nope, it's a unit of twenty, two flame masters, four gorillas." Oh, and then I'm uh, cruel task masker. So for five mobile deeds, everything else comes back. And I'm just like, no, I just Wait. put so much effort into killing them. Noble deeds. And they're just gone. How good. How um, good are noble deeds? They're just so good. Oh, they're back, so they're not gone. Um, so that was fun. And then we just started. And then my general died to the decapitator with fucking three damage. Oh, <laughs> nice. 
which was good, but it set up a very, very easy reprisal. Uh, so I, I just did that. I'm like, ee, bonk, with some more Varengard. Um, and then last turn, he didn't measure correctly uh, and went for Surround and Destroy. Needed to run anything other than a one. He thought a one would get him, but uh, we, like, measuring wise, it, it just didn't. Um, he rolled the one on the run and failed Surround and Destroy. Um, but yeah, the, the, the game was really fun to play. Uh, and it ended up 21-19, uh, my win. Um, neither of us got our grand strategies, so it was just a, a purely points-based game. But it was it was definitely very fun. Um, and it uh, made me very much dislike Beast Flayers. <laughs> I love them. I think they're cool. And it's crazy that he just brings them back like that. But We oh, forgot to annoying. mention what the battle plans were. So game one was Geomantic Pulse. And Geomantic Pulse. And then this was one was um, limited resources. Mm. Carl was limited resources. About when he was talking about his list. Mm. So yeah, he also burned up his objectives a little early. Um, and took the one that I'd capped back off me, which let me score it again. Um, which was very handy for me. I must say. Um, but yeah, a, a good game. A definitely good game. Uh, goodness, Flesh of Quartz makes me work for it when I'm playing Slaves. It is mm. just, I have to fight for it every time. But he had no more begs with a Gore Warden, which meant I didn't have to worry about Deep Strike. And he had no Knights, so he was a bit short on Battle Tactics and a bit short on raw Damage. And so I think I just worked that, worked with that and worked with what I had and uh, came away with a win. Very nice. Mm. Sweet. Well, um, that was a uh, pretty successful, um, uh, like, game two uh, for, for most people. Well, uh, semi-successful, 50-50. <laughs> um, but uh, game three. Um, How did we all end the day? That was... Uh, game three. Oh, that was no risk, no reward. No um, risk, no reward. Yes, 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 I'm yes. start. No risk, no reward. Which I so started this... way the hell back. <laughs> I started <laughs> right up at the front. I played against a uh, city's army, uh, and um, he dropped first and dropped a uh, griffin uh, three inches away from the center of the board. In which I matched with 40, um, 40 zo zombies in the, the center and then a uh, blizzard wizard at 12 inches away. Uh, and I outdropped him. And so I ate up that, that griffin turn one. Started with a... Um, uh, started with a... Uh, um, uh, grasping dead. So they the, the zombies started within three inches of the griffin. The griffin went kaput, and zombies um, went straight for um, the uh, the rest of his army, and um, the uh, the poor fella uh, hardly moved his uh, his whole army, and then he had a big cannon and some fusiliers that were um, off to the side, but I had a, a perfect grave site that I. Um, put those 40 zombies um just just nine inches away and you know you always get them nine inch charges when you do that so he had 80 zombies in his face turn one great for me uh he was running the um hammerers i believe um a big unit of hammerers uh the duridan unit he was running the warden king he was running the uh, um, the witch hunters uh, and the command corps, uh, along with the fusiliers, cannon, and griffin. Oh, and five cavaliers. Oh. Uh, really frustrating. All the yeah. cities models are gorgeous, though. Uh, just fantastic to look at. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, it was a it was a fantastic first turn for me. And um, I was just able to, to keep doing battle tactics. And unfortunately, he just kept on failing battle tactics um, here and there. And just because I was in his in his face turn one with no risk, no reward, I've, I was sitting 
pretty on those um, three objectives. Uh, actually, four objectives because I um, I had um, forty zombies on on um, one of the objectives that he started on as well. So he, it was a it was a like clawing back for him. Um, he ended up um, like chewing through those zombies. Uh, and they refused to come back after they died <laughs> until like turn five. Mm. Uh, but um, yeah, it was it was um, a bit too late by turn three. Um, I still uh, was looking pretty healthy, and um, he had lost quite a lot. Um, but yeah, so it was a, I it was watched, a great game. I ended up watching quite a lot of that game. Uh, because my game ended up lasting, I think it was like half an hour to 45 minutes from start to finish. Mm. Um, sorry, just to, I, I thought, I thought we'd, uh, can, can, what's the word? Travel over. We'll go, go into the, yeah. Segway. Um, <laughs> yeah, Segway. We'll segue into yeah, my lab. game. <laughs> yeah. Segway and collab. Yeah. Oh, you tell me what I did in my game. Um, yeah. so I went up against, uh, Liam. Uh, and in very short words, uh, he outplayed the absolute bollocks off me. Uh, <laughs> got me frazzled by just the fact that I was playing Liam, and like we've we I've known Liam since I got into the game. Uh, I've known he was a good player since I got into the game, and I've just never versed him. I'm never high enough on the tables to really go into him. So unless I'm getting matched into him first or second game, uh, it, we're, we're not usually playing. Uh, so this was actually our first match, and my brain was just broken <laughs> i was forgetting to move models i did intimidate the invaders and then moved everything back into my deployment <laughs> i was just playing a bad game uh, and liam was playing a brilliant game that list is ridiculous it counters my list almost perfectly because it's so many negs to hit which ruins all that there's a lot of shooting so i'm i'm losing all my noble buffs he was um, playing Slanesh? Hmm. Yeah, he was playing Slanesh, Shalaxi, which is go to pick. Love Shalaxi. Best unit in the army. Uh, other than the Lord of, Lord of Pain, because four up water reflecting crazy. It's called his best um, friends list. It's narrative. Yeah, it's narrative. <laughs> uh, Glutos, Shalaxi, Keeper, 30. 30? Yeah, yeah 33. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, um he kept offering does he do, do i want to take mortal wounds or does he want to give him the uh depravity, depravity. and from my playing slash the p things people were doing wrong was they were not giving me the depravity and taking the mortal wounds and so i went cool i'll take more damage and so he ended the game on like 40 some depravity i was like you're gonna get there anyway i, I, I may as well have him now um maybe it could have been uh, uh, maybe that was a stupid idea, and definitely giving him first was a stupid idea. But he crowned a dark secrets to my six Varangard. Um, he baited me on that first. He's, I was like, oh, I'm going to take first. And he was like, oh, what about this? I was like, fine, you have it. We'll see what happens. And uh, <laughs> so that was a, a <laughs> that was devastating loss on my half. Liam plays a good game and a very fast game. Liam knows his rules. He does them quick. He does them quick. He knows my rules. He does them quick. And then I think I just was so tired and flustered that I just, my brain couldn't comprehend what was happening. And I was just playing terribly. Mm. Um, also, Vanguard won the charge with one attack each. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> mm. Crazy. That's right. Crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah. Deserved victory on Liam's bark. He is just a better player than me. Outplayed me. Uh, and, yeah. But a good game. A good game. So three good games on first day, um, which made going to the pub with everyone a lot more fun. Mm. And I got to watch two hours of Kyle's game. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, how about yourself, Will? How did your third game go? <laughs> I was... I started off being, being proud about the feck. Um, by the end of the day, I was in the delusion. I was, as the boys say, a snake oil salesman. Snake oil. I even, I even snake called oil myself oil. snake oil salesman. Um, <laughs> I fought Tegan Mears. Uh, she was playing Fire Slayers. Um, 
Personally, I don't like fire slayers. It's, it's, a, it's my opinion. I just don't like them. So <laughs> I can't I can't tell the difference in the units. She's telling me about the hearth guard and the Volkite. She's like, yeah, the Volkite go to die to feel the flame keeper and the hearth guard do the damage. And I'm like, yeah, but my Morbeg knights they look cool, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> me, me with Varangard at any given point. And then, so, yeah. <laughs> You've always got to have that unit where you're like, yeah, but look how cool this guy looks. She... Uh, no RK on though. No risk, no reward. <laughs> I was I was very tempted to deploy um my forty blocker ghouls right on there just to limit test them, see if it is the play. But I got kind of scared because I was like, she, oh, she's talking about a lot of damage, and I don't want to lift my ghouls yet because they look really cool on the table. So mm. I deployed. This is a very uh, army love. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just was in my own world, um, in my own delusion. There was delusion. <laughs> yeah. um, so I play. I played really defensively. I had the Gore Warden Deep Strike, so I was like, if I need to poke, I can poke. Um, the idea was to mainly, yeah, create a big threat um, that she needed to deal with, and Fire Slays being slow, they can't. They like if you can attack them from four different angles, like. And they they pick the wrong like the wrong way to go, then that that can be game for them. Just because their, their pile and move is an inch off their max move. Like, yeah. um, so yeah, I she moved forward. I think she took first, moved forward, um, exposed her teleporting stormcast unit, which I knew would score her surround and destroy. Were they the fast riders? Yeah, so I dropped my Gore Warden with the Morbeg Knights right into her back line, took them out to deny the um, surround. surround and destroy, um, and then created a threat of, hey, here's six Morbeg Knights and a hero that you need to deal with, otherwise it's coming for your priests, um, which was... <laughs> she moved up the four... Uh, got the run and charge prayer off, <laughs> moved up the four, and I got a six on the redeploy with the Morbegs, oh. so they kited back. Uh, she failed the charge, got the double, kept going after the Morbegs, and then they rolled a five on the next redeploy. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, I, I actually we'll get to it later, but I had the exact same like redeploy luck. Yeah, um, and it, it's great when you're playing it. It's it must suck to go up against. So mm. then that was good. I just basically I took up her like one of her rune fathers and then a unit of half guard went to go deal with them and the Volkites. The Morbegs died. Surprise, surprise! But guess what? Six noble deeds brings them back. So <laughs> she was <laughs> not happy about that, as because now she had. A big damage block in the half guard up in the back corner where she didn't want to be. Um, no objectives, no nothing. Um, and yeah, six noble deeds. I bought them all back. My gore warden, the little sneaky boy, got out. And then I basically just six horrors, duked it out with some half guard, took out most of them. Um, I had the chalice as well to tar pit up the Volkite until I could deal with the flame keeper so that she wasn't getting the extra damage. Um, and then, yeah, being no wizards, um, she couldn't really deal with the chalice unless she used the heroic action, um, but I don't, I don't think she did, um, because, yeah, the chalice just stayed around, kept bringing stuff back, um, I got all my spells off because I'm at a plus two to cast because six noble deeds, um, with primal <laughs> that she kept giving me more primal, um, which I was just like, thank you, you're, this is great, I love this primal, thank you. Um, and yeah, it was, it was basically just a game. We were also extremely exhausted. I went insane advertising more bag nights and how every, everybody needs to play them. Um, and that for six noble deeds, a ripper deal, three more bags back. And then for another three noble deeds, bring back the unit back to full. Yeah, it was great. It was a great game. Um, it's actually mm. disgusting, by the way. She did concede. It's I, 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 it's I, I hate it. She did concede. Yeah, she's got, turn it's got four. a t shirt safe, but I gotta fight it. <laughs> she did concede turn four because, yeah, at that point, I just had. I was I was where I needed to be, and I had her stuff tied up in itself that, yeah, there wasn't any way to bully. tactics. Um, she did score her grand strat, though, because I couldn't. I couldn't pray away the Infernoth 
Um, I just couldn't roll the four up for some reason. My Mara scroll just didn't want to. He was just like, no, nah, it's fine. It'll sit there. And I'm like, no, nah, man, we need to deal with this. And he's like, nah. He's like, just don't worry about it. He's like, it'll stay there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did I did end up taking the win, which um was a good way to end the day. But also, I was just having so much fun with my flesh eaters that I think win or loss, I just would have just been happy. Like, yeah, like I was just having that much fun playing with these stupid little ghouls <laughs> mm. yeah and then we all ended up going to the same pub um in the end so it was uh it was, awesome. it was a good um way to end the day i think but um yeah game three, sorry yeah <laughs> i was gonna oh. say you get another person jesus <laughs> we just like- when other people speak. Homie's about, to, <laughs> he's about to start talking about the pub. <laughs> yeah, so my, my my game three was up against uh, Will's previous opponent, Sean Tufnell. Um, bring, in, bring in some gits uh, by one of my other factions to the table. But uh, where he plays squigs, I play trogs. So I was um, underestimating what I was about to get nibbled by. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as we were playing um, No Risk, No Reward, uh, I sat right at the back, and he had a big triangle of squigs right in front of me. And uh, luckily, well, I uh, took first turn and uh, saw what I could deal with. Uh, but what I did, I uh, I did something I haven't done before, and I did super sneaky the, uh, the Maya Brute. He left one of his objectives with one little guy on it, so I super sneaky a block of ten, um, uh, ten gut rippers right to his back line, took the objective, (laughs) and um, yeah, caught it. Kind of forced him to not direct all of his forces toward me, so I did a successful distraction, um, and then spent that turn. Indeed, super sneaky. I was a super sneaky boy that day. Um. (laughs) But yeah, like, I got my spells off, I got up the boggy mist to try and keep him away from me. Um, I shot the hell out of his squigs. Now, while I thought I took out, I took out at least 15 of them. Um, so I did, you know, a bunch of damage. Um, but as he um, beat me in points on the triumph, he was able to uh, keep his squigs around so they didn't run away. Um, and then unfortunately, when he got his herders down the next turn, he brought back 13 squigs. Ah. So he almost had a, a, a full, uh, fully strength, um, squig herd coming at me. I only had, um, 10 gut rippers and, uh, 10 hobgrots as screens, which were there for that turn, only to get double turned. <laughs> and then when you get double turned with he's he's a great guy by the way um but just the squigs they were they were a force to be reckoned with they were fully buffed mm. they had um uh, plus one to um hit and wound from the gobble palooza uh, he was under the light of the bad moon so he was getting an extra bite he was able to run and charge me turn one i just couldn't st- stay away from them um, and that first round of combat where he had his, um, his squig boss into me, every, uh, extra wound, I believe was doing a mortal wound as well, as well as getting through. Um, <laughs> it was just a lot of damage. And then having that happen twice, it's, I pulled it back and I was able to, so like, it was a close game. We, uh, we ended up going, um, 24 to 16 his way. I still lost by a bit. Um, I almost took out all of his units, but he still ended up bringing back his squig herd. So, you know, 36 squigs, you know, what's that? Uh, 18 squigs back out of the loon shrine. Hmm. It was dealing with that again was not fun. Um, (laughs) but yeah, by turn four, he basically nibbled everything I had to death. Um. I couldn't, uh, he denied my grand strat because, um, yeah, he, um, bashed, uh, gobsprack with, uh, 15, uh, uh, what, what, what are they called? The knights, the holy knights of the gits. Point drop bounders. uh, Point drop bounders. That's it. They smashed him. They smashed him. Uh, I kept saying, uh, 
Um, Scrag wrote the whole game instead of gob Gobsprack because I was looking at my boy on the other side of the table. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't fun to watch. Um, and and he um, had a had a little hidden uh, um, shaman in between all those squigs of Blizzard. I watched that boy come up close. I couldn't do anything about him. Um, mm. And yeah, he exploded. Um, he did 22 mortal wounds to um, my uh, my brute. It was not fun. It was not fun. He just went. Ooh. He exploded. <laughs> so it. Uh, but hey, it was a it was a good game. It was a close game. Um, but it's the squigs. The squig herd is it's such a powerful unit. Mm. Um, you gotta deal with it in t in full because if you don't. The Squig Herd is the best death unit in the game. <laughs> mm. It's insane. And the boy, he had crazy luck. Only one herder got eaten the whole game. He, he But mm. on top of that, he played amazing as well. Um, it was a great game. I've got no complaints there, really. Yeah. So, That's so yeah, good. That, that was my game three. That's how we ended the day. Very nice. Well... Semi-successful for, for most of us, um, I think, because I got my two wins um, in this day. Uh, you got uh, two wins and Josh got two wins today. Uh, Will had fun. I had, uh, I, only had, uh, I only had the one win. <laughs> I had three wins. I spent six noble deeds and brought back my more bags every time. That's a win in my book. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. And um, um, yeah, as snake oil charm, I just did denialist. <laughs> what do you mean? I just um, one minute I was playing a game, the next minute feast, crazy, yeah. hey <laughs> baby. Um, but yeah, very very fun. Um, and then yeah, it was a uh, it was a good end to the to the day. I think for, for most of us at least. I think we're all sleep deprived at that point, so we all just wanted to get yeah. to bed. Kyle wanted to drink. We wanted to get to bed. I just wanted a few drinks, just a couple of a casual drinks with the fellas. Maybe three, maybe four. Uh, just yeah. Just couple. sneaky game. Just couple. sneaky drinks. Yeah, just sneaky drinks, sneaky drinks. Nah, um, awesome. but yeah. Went out. Yeah, good to catch up guys. with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of more tribe boys there as well. Um, yeah, it was it was very fun. Uh, um, and then. Heading into uh, to day two, uh, game four. I um, slept nine hours. I was a new man. <laughs> yeah, we, had the, we had the saving switch right in the middle of it, so we all got an extra oh, hour's sleep. It was so good. Mm -hmm. It was so beautiful. Good. I didn't sleep. I yeah. kept tossing and turning. <laughs> it was great. I was just. But I woke up and he was next to me. Yeah, that was true. <laughs> that was good. Different bed, unfortunately. <laughs> Mm. No, don't tell uh, them that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did your fourth game go, Scott? Oh, it was okay. I, <laughs> game four. This is probably my most fun game. Oh, honestly, it, it was against. So, it, it was a mirror match. It was. A, I was mm. dreading it when I saw it. Um, I, I was against um Dean Olsen. Your yep, your game same as mine. Yep. Um. I did come through on a win, but it, I think it all came down to the initial turn in how we both played our tactics. Um, mm. But yeah, so game four was... Uh, Spring actually, the, the Trap. Spring the Trap, They've that's let, right. It was up for a vote, and they voted for Spring the Trap when shit like Nexus Collapse exists, right? Should have played And you Nexus know what? Collapse. The only fact that the fact that it was spring the trap was probably the only reason that I had the upper hand. So um, there we go. We both put down our um, hey, we, we both <laughs> put down our units. We um, decided, you know, we'll both put down our super sneakies. I'll um, super sneaky my Maya brute over to his back line on the left. I actually I put it a little bit in front of the objective, and he put his um, his six bot boys right in my back line. Right next to Gobsprack. I was um, <laughs> I was like, okay, this is this is not good. Um so then we both did our dirty tricks. He took ten hobgrots, I took ten hobgrots, 
We had no hobgrots on the field. <laughs> uh, and then when it came down to uh, what are we going to have on the board, uh, he, he just took off 10 uh, gut rippers. I took Gobsprack off the board. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, he's my grand strat. He's got to live. I'm, I'm not putting him on the field. Um, so it kind of hurt a little bit not having my main caster and my really good unbinder on the field for basically two turns. But I think it was a risk that I had to take. Um, so then coming into turn one, he took first turn. Um, he still wanted to see, get in position and see how much damage he could deal. Um, his six bolt boys at the back decided to shoot into my bolt boys. As cruel boys do, he didn't get a single mortal wound off. <laughs> uh, which was really good for me, uh, but he was still able to get eight damage through. So it took out th um, four of my bolt boys. It wasn't great, uh, but I just had to deal with it. He moved some boys forward, got in position, um, put ten of his gut rippers in um, garrison, as there was some garrisonable terrain on all of these tables. And um, gave it to me. Um, in uh, and then coming into my turn one, all right, I'll set everything up. Oh, what we did here as well, we're both grin and blades, so our bolt boys couldn't see each other for the for the most part. So I used my grin and blades as screens. They were useless this game to me. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> put, I'll put them out the front. I'll just use them as um, as uh, unleash hell fodder. That's, that, that's all they were good for that turn. And they were also really goaded in melee. Um, because, <laughs> fun fact, Gut Rippers and uh, Bolt Boys have the exact same profile. They don't have rend. Gut <laughs> Rippers are garbage. Garbage. Um, so anyway, we came into my turn one. Um, I decided, sure, I'll move forward. I'll get, um, I'll pick um, Lead into the Maelstrom. Um... Charged in my uh, my brutes into ten um, gut rippers, and I charged my um, uh, ten gut rippers and my ten uh, hobgrots, which are now back in the fray, into his ten hobgrots. Thinking, all right, I've got a plan, but I, I've got to kill these two units first and maybe do some sneaky pile ins. Um, but so going into shooting, uh, my two remaining uh, bolt boys that got shot at. They thought they'd have a crack back over at those other boys um, that did, did some damage first turn. As Bolt Boys do, two Bolt Boys did eight mortal wounds. Did the exact <laughs> same damage. Um, they were still a little bit hurt. My general went over, charged over and stomped on them, finished them off. It was great. Um, but yeah, so as my Maya Brute and my Gut Rippers did, they cleared out both of their units. Um, but something I've never tried before, I decided I'd pile my gut rippers into combat range of the garrisonable terrain. Um, they were in combat range, but he couldn't pile, um, he couldn't pile out of his garrison in combat. So, while he couldn't attack back, I still had my, um, uh, battle tactic. I thought it was sneaky, I've never tried it before. Um, it does work, um, uh, so I'm being a sneaky git, um. Uh, and yeah, it was um, a good turn. I believe I double turned him here, which uh, was actually no, it was consecutive the whole way through. Um, and then from that point, it came into his turn. He charged the uh, Sludge Raker and um, 10 Gut Rippers into my Maya Brute. Um, as the sneaky git I am, he moved the Gut Rippers first, and I redeployed the Maya Brute back into his, um, into his deployment. So, unfortunately, he had to move his Sludge Raker around, and he failed the charge. So, <laughs> the uh, my Brute just stayed in combat with Gut Rippers basically the entire game, just tying up that side of the field, which was probably to my advantage, as that tied up his main damage dealer, being his Sludge Raker. Because the benefit to my list is that I've got a bit more combat potential than he does, and the fact that neither of us could see each other, his Bolt Boys and his um, Killer Bow couldn't do much. Um, so then in that turn, I was able to move my Vulture and uh, my Vulture, my Gobsprack and my Sludge Raker all the way up the other side of the field. And um, we met 
his gobsprack in honourable combat. Where we wired, gobsprack died, it was a good day. Um, also, to his defence, um, I didn't cast any more spells that entire game. Because he did five mortal wounds to one of my little shamans. It hurt a lot. It scared the shit out of me. That's, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, it I, feels, buddy. <laughs> it, it's a feels. I was like, ah, so this is what it feels like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, you know, I I was just able to tie him up with some sneaky tricks in his turn. And then when it came to my, my turn, I just had the, the movement. Um, just to be able to surround his main damage dealers. Um, and then by that point, by the end of my turn two, all he had left was a couple of gut rippers and a sludge raker. It was, uh, I guess, just advantageous in my in my go where I just had a lot of good combat encounters. Um, and that where the sheer um, uh, matchup where we just couldn't see each other. Just the fact that I had monsters that could do more damage in melee just came to my benefit in the end. Um, I did almost score full again. Um, so I am officially the Cruel Boys bully because <laughs> I did not let the other two Cruel Boys players one. Um, we got to 26 my way, 18 his. Um, he was a fantastic guy though. Um, I'd love to play another game with him. Um, Possibly one where, you know, it's not so... It was a little lopsided in my favour, because, again, I was benefiting more from the fact that I was fighting my own army. Hmm. Um, and that the shooting on the other side could not see me. Um, but it was a great game. He was a great opponent. Um, I feel like the nine hours sleep that I had mentally enhanced me to another level that I will <laughs> never play that good again in my entire life. <laughs> see, you maybe um, you just took performance enhancing drugs, Scott. I see how it is. I took uh... performance enhancing drugs. My brain was on fire. Um, mm. But again, I did have a lot of um, dice luck as well. Um, but in the end, it was a yeah, a really good game. Uh, it was probably one of my most fun. It was my funnest game the whole weekend. They were all amazing, but that one tipped it for me. Hmm. Very nice. Well, um, how about you, William? How did your your fourth game go? <laughs> I fought the man that has fought every loaded dice boy three times over, Stephen White. <laughs> Dave. You can go back to their podcast that they did the list review for this thing, and Stephen jokes about how... He's going to fight one of us, and I got matched into him round four. I love it. I love mm. fighting Steven. Another he one. is such a fun person. He has mm. his own fun sense of humor that, I don't know, I just, I just love it. I always love games with him. Uh, I sent him a text he's the a, night he's before. He's a fun opponent. He's <laughs> very fun to play with. I saw he, the pairing. He hates any other rule that exists, and it never make, he never makes you feel bad about it. He always makes a joke about it. I just love it. <laughs> mm. They also the predicted Steven's games really well. He got a tie and he got matched up with one of the port boys. Yeah, they, they had classic Steven with his ties. Mm. They were apparently, taking off their bingo card. Apparently his first GT or something, Sydney GT, he got three draws. Mm. <laughs> he had a win, a loss, and three draws. Like, how... But yeah, saw the pairings the night before, sent him a cheeky message, told him how much I love him, told him how excited <laughs> I was, got the day of, he's like, so what does your army do? And I was like, oh, you're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of it, well, that's he take all away. hated noble <laughs> deeds, he hated the chalice, he was so upset at my Vargolf. <laughs> Bro, my rightly butt. so, fuck that chalice. <laughs> um, it was, what was it? What was the, oh yeah, spring the trap. So really concealed um, deployment, and I castled up as I normally do with Feck because I want to get them six noble deeds straight away. Steven took first turn, got overwhelm not overwhelming um, speed of Hish off his enlightener, um, rolled the three up, so he was able to give it to mo both um, dawn rider units that he had because he was running two dawn riders. Moved him fully up, pinned me in my deployment. Great strategy. Um, and 
yeah, so pinned me in before I could even get onto the objectives. I had the Morbegs in Deep Strike, as usual, because why else would you? Um, and then Silly Me just got excited and was like, I'm going to do Lead into the Maelstrom, because I'm going to kill these things, and then surely I'm going to be able to, like, I'm not going to kill Dawn Riders um, with ghouls. I just didn't think it was possible. With the minus one, no, not with the minus one, but with them having like a five up ward, blah, blah, blah. I was like, surely one will live and I'll just get the battle tactic. It'll be fine. Um, we did the maths and ghouls with feeding frenzy and wizard finders was about four attacks per ghoul. And there was like 20 something ghouls in range. It was a lot of dice. They absolutely massacred <laughs> him. Um, the Vargolf killed the unit as well. He kind of over Um, and then, yeah, I beat myself out of a battle tactic. I deep striked the Morbegs in his back line just to kind of basically do what I did with Tegan's game, get him to go back and deal with them. Um, forgetting that the Light of Atharion is just an absolute beast and doesn't die. Goated. Um, goaded does I, I always go light of Eldarian. he's kind of mid because I, I i put him and sigvold in the same mm. same kind of bracket and sigvold is while a good like a good model he is not a he is a shadow of his former self and so i think the the, the light of inter and every time i'm like yeah he's okay but he's still kind of mid and then every time you verse him, it's just like, oh, he has that rule, that rule, that rule, that rule, and that rule. Uh -huh. Well, I did mm -hmm. used to run a lot of Eltharion in my Ardneth lists for a couple practice games. He always died. Uh. Always died. So I was like, yeah, he's going to die, and I'm going to kill Severeth, because Severeth was like my main my main goal. I was like, that is a hero sniper. It's going to take out my aberrants, and I'm going to have like no no recursion. So when in... Did he do Zumi? Severeth, yeah, yeah, man. He sniped my heroes. He was the pain of my existence. I didn't kill him. Uh, which was surprising because we both thought that Severeth was going to die. Even Steven was like, I don't think Severeth's going to live with like four Morbeg Knights going into him or three Morbeg Knights, whatever I had. Um, but yeah, so turn one, I didn't score anything. Um, turn two, I got hold one, hold two, but not more. So two, like the first two turns, detrimental. Um, but then by the end of it, it was 24-21 his way. So I clawed back in the last three turns and I was like super proud. I didn't think I'd get back as well as I did. Um, but pure just having the chalice. Steven didn't really knew, know what the chalice did and only it being like ghouls like that were bringing back. He wasn't too worried about them. And especially on like... Um, spring the trap when there's three objectives and i can't i had the ghouls the ghouls were tied up in his blade guard so they were just constantly having this little duke out that lasted for way too long so he wasn't too worried um which then meant the chalice could just be there um the great thing was him trying to blizzard the ghouls because he was getting sick of this little tar pit and them just rolling a six on their wizard finders <laughs> just proceeding to eat like the blade lords as well um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Very close game towards the end there. Um, but yeah, just getting that detrimental, no points turn one, and then two points turn two, with him just scoring max points nearly every turn was just, yeah, it was, that, it was just that amazing play at the start. Like, he knew it. Um, he knew it was going Too to much to come back from. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Pretty much. Um, and we talked about it later as well. We both were like... Yeah, it was it was a great game though. Like we had so much fun. We were just sarcastic to each other. I was trying to get under his skin, and it was funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the end of it, we were just yeah, just having a great time. And then he doesn't want to fight Feck ever again. And I said, "I'll see you next tournament, buddy." Round four. <laughs> <laughs> what was it at at, at Cancon? He versed three of us. Hmm. Like three of the same guys through the same group in, in a so. row, <laughs> and, mm. <sighs> and Chris as well. His team and Chris, to yeah. he played one very like fusily as heavy cities list, and then his friends. <laughs> mm. 
but yeah, shout out Stephen. Love you. See you next tournament. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, so I'll, I'll go next. Um, yep. Game four, I was up against Tom with uh, Carriage on Overlords, which when I saw that, I kind of pooped in my pants a little bit. Um, I That was my first ever game versing KO and the first time learning any of their rules because I don't like dwarves and I don't care. <laughs> so I did not learn them, and I, I kind of went into the game, and I was like, I'll learn them as we go. Just butt rush them. And I'll just do my absolute best. And Will said to me as we're walking, he's like, KO would do really bad if you can get into them soon butt rush them. and disrupt them. If you just hit them, and they just struggle to, like, to recover from that. And so I went into it going, all right, let's do this. So he had um, two big ships. He had one of the massive ones with 20 wounds, frigate or something. Ironclad. And then one of the smaller ones, the... Uh, I'm not going to know the names, but yeah. Uh, one of the smaller ones with like 50 wounds. Um, he had a navigator and then two other heroes. God knows I don't know what they are. <laughs> um, yeah, I his army looked great and he was an absolutely phenomenal opponent, but I just don't care about dwarves enough to remember names. Um, and so, yeah, I, I it was a good list. He had 20... Arcanaut, I think, six Balloon Boys, three of the Healy Balloon Boys. Uh, what else? He had some Aether Wings, and then, yeah, two units of 10 uh, Arcanauts and a unit of 20. Um, playing in Barrack Overbaz. And so I deployed very aggressively. I deployed six and then three Vanguard, like, straight front, uh, completely forgetting that I have to do a battle tactic. Um, which I'll get into in a bit. Uh, took <laughs> first um, because then he can't half my movement with the the read the winds. Uh, auto six the ran three six charge. Um, demonic power six up ward uh, and just put Varangard into his front line. Um, I actually also threw some um, my Corvus Cabal. I, I didn't use them for objectives that game. I actually used them as a secondary charging unit. So I actually dropped them in nine, got a nine inch charge, which was very lucky. And then that was meant to soak up and unleash hell. But it didn't because he then unleashed hell when I charged the Varangard in with the unit of six bo uh, balloon boys, which was <laughs> fair enough. Uh, that was on me, but at least it wasn't the boat. So yeah, <laughs> six Varangard went in. And by the end of that turn, uh, 20 Arcanaut were dead. All six balloon boys were dead. His general was dead, and another one of his heroes was down to one wound. And I was like, "Okay, right, roll for priority." And I think he got it. I think, from memory, he got it. Um, but it was just one of those things where. Oh, and I had to do a battle tactic first turn, which I had not thought about in deployment, and so I did uh, intimidate the invaders, forgetting that you have to be all the way across the board. So I had to get everything, or not everything, but a lot of my units on the side. And so on one side of the board, I had three Varangard, five Knights, nine on 10 beasts, and a hero all sitting on this one objective, cramped up into this little circle because it was the, the, the only way I could get it. But thankfully I did get it. Um, and then the game just, uh, it was a game of me doing lots of damage and then him moving around getting points he could, shooting what he could. Um, and whenever it came back to my turn, the Varangard just turned to whatever they hadn't killed yet, ran towards them, killed them, turned to what they hadn't killed yet, ran towards them, killed them. Um, and then the last battle tactic, I needed to roll for Eye of the Gods. Uh, and the only way to do that was to kill the hero that was in his frigate with a buffed up, uh, with my buffed up general on Kakadrak. And he missed all attacks. I think he did like two damage. And <laughs> I went, cool. That's that's cool. Fair enough. Um, I ended up pulling out the win still. Um, so it wasn't like a devastating thing, but it was just to be like, oh, you, you know, this 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 buffed up hero couldn't do five damage. Um, but yeah, so ended the game twenty six to twelve, uh, and that put me on my third win. And yeah, Tom was a great opponent, a very, very good opponent. Um, and so, yeah. Very nice. 
Um, so I guess that just leaves me. Uh, we can skip me though. Oh, I'm happy with that. Five. Ah, we can skip you. We go to five. <laughs> five. No, talk oh, about your time with Nurgle. Yeah, yeah, come on. Very good. I love Nurgle, to be honest. I <laughs> am happy uh, at the outcome because um, an army that I love won. It was Nurgle that won. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. It was one of those rough games where. Um, uh, like uh, we were both trying to counter charge each other. Um, I didn't see a, a, a charge over five inches and he didn't see a charge under like nine inches. Um, so it was one of those type of games. Uh, he also rolled, uh, he, he didn't have a battle tactic turn one and so he did magical dominance. And um, we rolled uh, like two primal for, for both of us. I was like, actually, no, I rolled a third primal because I got my um, acolytes off. And so um, he uh, he rolled his um, uh, his mystic shield, rolled a five, and then was like, oh, I've got to try and add um, primal to this, and then proceeded to roll two sixes afterwards. So um, uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, and then... Um, uh, it was just it was just like that for for pretty much the rest of the game, but I was able to still keep in it um, again because of the board presence that the zombies give you. Um, I actually um, scored one two more for for like three turns. Um, uh, it kind of fell apart by his turn three, uh, and. Uh, then he just ran away with it, um, turn four, turn five. Um, but he was running um, quite a monster-heavy list. He was running uh, Morbidex. He was running a, a great unclean one, and he was running the Glockkin. You uh, Nurgle so that's how to stop was... running Glockkin. It, it hurts our brains. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't it, want to think about your charges in my movement. That's oh, the wrong phase. It's my phase. Uh, just, yeah. just wait, Josh. Just wait. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even get to charge first. You get to charge me first. Mm. That's really mean. I've got to. I'm nice. at least patient and wait for you to charge me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't even be patient with me. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, at the end of the day, it was a fantastic game. Like really fun. Um, I was able to to get some sneaky um, like pylons off. Uh, he had moved off an objective, and then I uh, countercharged him and got one zombie toe on the objective to steal it off him to hold all three objectives. Get that uh, for, on there. Um, and so he had to um, like uh, play around that. He had to move backwards with his four inch move army. Uh, but he was running Befouling Host, so even though he only rolled a 1 for the Great Unclean One, he just um, summoned 10, uh, 10 Plague Bearers on. So, um, yeah, there was um, lots of back and forth in the game, uh, but it was just one of those games that, like, um, I made one mistake in the, uh, in the middle, um, and then, uh, like, just bad rolls and, and good rolls for him, um, like, eked him over the edge. But even still, again, I think most of my games ended with um, two points in it because I think it was, uh, I think <laughs> I was 19 my way, 21 his way. Uh, so just one of those, um, one of those games that, like, I just had fun. We um, we had a good game, and as as I said before, I love Nurgle, and I even love the Glockkin. So like seeing that do its work, do its job, fantastic. Um, even though. I, uh, I almost won in the end, um, almost getting my uh, grand strat, but um, he uh, countercharged me and then <laughs> there was like, um, uh, he, he just got um, enough in, like I think he got a 10 inch charge that put just enough bodies on um, my gravesite to stop me from getting my lust of domination off, which again, another like split decision um, choice that I made because I was like, oh, I got 80 zombies. No one's going to control more objectives than me. Apparently they can. <laughs> Apparently it's really easy to control more objectives. Um, but yeah. Um, 
massively fun game. Uh, Jarrett is another one of those more tribe boys, and so um, we've had games in the past, and um, yeah, he's he was just able to to um, get the win in this time. So good on him. Um, it'll be uh, exciting to see how we do next game. But yeah, um, I guess we're on to game five, which was um, what was game uh, five? Fountains in the Frost. All right, Josh, how did you do on Fountains oh, of the Frost? Yeah, this is the game I have been waiting to talk about. <laughs> He's just finished, big fella. This was... So I think I was versing... I think his name's Tim Porter, and I, I really apologise. I'm really bad with names. Um, with you trees. name right. You're all good. Yes, with, with, <laughs> uh, with trees. Now, this was, with no doubt of my brain, the single funnest game of Warhammer... I have played since I started. It was so close. I lost. Like, I lost. Um, but it was just pure fun. We were both playing really good games. It was so backwards and forwards. We were both doing our own thing, and it was it, the game flowed. Everything moved. Everything happened. There was, there was never a dull thing. Nothing was being wasted. Nothing ever felt like it was just happening. Um so we were playing Fountains of the Frost. I deployed very far back uh, with some screens, uh, completely forgetting that he was one drop. So he got to choose to, like priority. So he gave me priority, understandably. Uh, I moved up, dropped my Corvus Cabal. I had Untamed Beast in his Overgrown, so he couldn't tell to that one. I had a Hero in the other one, so he couldn't tell to that one. Uh, and I had the 20 uh, Warriors on one side. The six Vanguard, the three Vanguard, they both got damned and took like a mortal wound or two. Uh, the hero and the knights on the one side and then the Vanguard in the middle with the two screens up front. And I went, cool. I get my battle tactic. I don't score more. Your turn. He moves the Kurnoth up. He rolls a one for the, the Spite Swarm Hive. Um, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> he rolled five ones that game. Uh, only went off once. Uh, he moved his Kurnoth up outside of three of my screens and I redeployed and moved six inches back. And so the big block of six, uh, the Vanguard, he was obviously planning on shooting my screens with and then uh, charging into, were 13 inches away and he couldn't get into them. And then so a seven inch, char like he killed the things in shooting, seven inch charge. He was able to kill my Untamed Beast, my Corvus Cabal, and that was it. And then he struck a fade back into the thing and that was that. Then it went, then he gave me turn again. So we both were even points. Uh, I moved up and did exactly the same thing with Knights and Varangard, but I positioned it now thinking with my brain that I didn't need to redeploy. I was just 13 inches away from where he could go. Um, so he went in again, killed all my Knights, strike and fade. Uh, and I was left with my standard army in exactly the same formation, just missing a couple units. But he also teleported some tree revenants onto the back objective on the left, um, which meant he scored more. So I then had to address that. My general went and attacked the tree revenants, killed them. So I got uh, enthralled to chaos to get rid of those. Um, and then I rolled on either gods and he died. Uh, roll, <laughs> he, uh, he did a battle tactic, kill the unit for the, for the, the uh, Chaos Gods, and they turned him into a spawn out of punishment. Uh, mm. So that was funny, but it may have been more effective, but it really oh, lacked. It was it was big. Powers. The Ruiner's bad. <laughs> but it was a real <laughs> big problem powers. purely just for uh, CP. That was, that was the real biggest thing. I couldn't reprisal because I killed myself, and I didn't get all the CP that I'd normally get. Um, but... That turn was also the turn that I went, <laughs> I'm, I'm losing this game of attrition. I need to do something. So I put my two heroes in garrison down the back, moved up some warriors, charged them onto the objective and piled in, well, charged them into a unit of Reavers. They unleashed hell, but then I piled in around and gained, gained an objective in his back line uh, and charged the Varangard into his Kurnoth Hunters. Uh, he... I, I, I was just out of range that I wasn't um, – I had to charge some Reavers and then go past them with the charge and then kill them and then hope the second attack could also go out. And, but I 
I worked it out so that he couldn't make me strike last. So I was getting to do this thing. The three, three of the Vanguard absolutely wiped the unit of 10 Reavers. There was no surprises there. And three Vanguard fully buffed, only killed three Colonel Hunters. Still really good, but what are you going to do? I think it was actually like one or two Colonel Hunters. Uh, and then he was very smart and hit me with his tree look. Uh, so I couldn't pile in. Uh, something I just completely really didn't think of, which meant I couldn't get the other three Varangard in, which I really kind of was banking on getting. Uh, but I still got another three Varangard to fight into. Got his Kurnoth down. His Kurnoth and Tree Lord combined killed three Varangard. Uh, my Warriors killed the Reavers, cut the objective. That was that. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure he, he won all the priorities. So he actually gave me turn two times. Um, but this time I think he took the double, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And he just capitalized on it. Um, he failed. Oh, and then later on in the game, it just was a back and forth. We were both doing our tactics, both getting them, both getting our spells, both getting everything. Really fun. We were all doing our things and it was, it was across the board. Everything was moving. And then the last turn he needed, the second last turn he needed a three inch charge with Kurnoth Hunters. He rolled another one on the Spide Swarm, uh, rolled a, like snake eyes on the dice, CP reroll, snake eyes on the dice. Uh, so he rerolled re a two into a two, uh, which was a bit rough. And it meant that my warriors were able to just chill in subjective, absolutely tying up this tree lord who was doing like one damage a turn. It, he was not doing much. Um, and so by the end of round five, uh, I was up a point, surprisingly. I, I wasn't sure how. He wasn't able to get hold more because of my warriors. Um, and so I was up a point, but he got his green strat and I didn't. And so it put him up two points. And so he got the win. But that was without a doubt the funnest game of Warhammer I've had. And it just left me with a feeling of wanting to play more, which is just a feeling I haven't had at the end of a tournament before. Like wanting to, I wanted to go, do you want a rematch? But I was so tired. I was like, nah, I, there's yeah. no way I'd finish a game and keep this energy. Uh, but he was a great opponent and it was a great game. And so that capped me off uh, at 3-2, not 4-1, which I'm I'm happy with. I'm happy with it. It was just that good a game that whatever I got didn't matter. The score didn't matter by the end because I was just having fun. It was so close. It was so tight. It was We, we were the exact same score up until round five. Um, but, yeah, a, a, a very good game and a very, very good end to the tournament. Good stuff. Very nice. Mm. How about yourself, Will? How did your, your last game go? Oh, oh, I think he's... No. Or, not, or not. We could... Sorry, bro. Yeah. I, I, didn't want to, I didn't want to hear it anyway. <laughs> Will, we can't hear you, buddy. Oh, yeah, because I muted myself as I went oh, to there sleep. We go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, it was awesome. Um, I went into a mirror match against another Flesh Eater Quartz list. And Man, I don't know about well, you guys, well. but I love it when I play Flesh Eater Quartz. So when there's another Flesh Eater Quartz player, we just share delusion. It's so much <laughs> fun. Um, yeah, so I went into Rian, who I think Josh fought. Yeah, Josh My fought. game two opponent, yep. Game two. So I knew his list. I knew the models, you know, I, I was there, I was, I was excited, I was really excited. Um, he took Morgant, so get, each hero gets a noble deed, uh, if they're on an objective they control, it's great. Except for the fact that you need to control the objective, which yeah, you can get kicked off them pretty easily these days. Um, but yeah, so we went in, we were both excited, I was like, I don't need to explain my list to you, do I? He's like, no, nah. he's like, I know what you do, and I was like, sick, I know what you do. I was like, the only thing that I was unsure on was Gourmet, because personally, I haven't run him. I have the model, um, but I have yet to run him, just because yeah, he can't generate his own Noble Deed points outside of being on the throne, and there's nothing I love more than just having all the Noble Deed points. Um, but yeah, so Ushran... Uh, 40 beast flayers, 3 units of 10 crypt guard. Um, big tanky list was like my, my main thoughts of it with the crypt guard being like at the permanent 5 up ward. Ushran as well. Um, personally, I don't run him. I don't feel like he does enough utility, but he still doesn't mean you should underestimate um, him. He's a tanky model. Um, 
he not when there's Varengard in the lose. He took first <laughs> turn um, because I think I was eight drops to his seven. Um, so he took first turn. Ooh, real tight. Got the three up on Gourmet into my six horrors that I had deployed a bit aggressively. Um, just as to kind of try and pull him in, see if I could pull out like one of his beast flayers. Um, I had the Vargolf set up as well right next to him to just, you know, as a bit of a counter punch. Um, it worked really well. <laughs> he ran everything up, got a really good run on the beast flayers and Ushran. The beast flayers went in. And Obviously got the Gormain running charge. Yeah, off. yeah, he got the three up on Gormain. Um, got the got them up. Ushran failed his charge. Um, the Beast Flayers got their charge. They killed a horror. <laughs> 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 uh, oh yeah, because I have delusions. I've been completely forgetting to say what delusions I had. I had Defenders of the Realm, so I get plus one to save if I'm on objective. I control. Um, very good, with very Fountains good. of the Frost, uh, you deploy straight on objectives, so you do control them. Um, in first turn, so and with Fek being a one rend army, pretty much board wide, it's a good thing to take against another Fek list. So yeah, his Beast Flayers, while they can do big damage, didn't do it against me because they only one rend. Um, and then yeah, they punched. I basically ate them up with the Vargolf and the Horrors. I killed about sixteen, and then because he was within twelve of the throne. He has to take a battle shock, but with only four left, they ran. Um, it then went to my turn. I was able to deep strike my Morbegs in his back line to take out his uh, Arch Regent, which I knew was a very important piece. I was tossing up between whether to go for the Arch Regent or the or Gormain because I needed to deconstruct his Aberrants so that he's not bringing any models back. Uh, or any units back. Um, I was okay if his courtiers stayed alive because I could wipe the units, um, and that's what mattered. I went for the Aberrant because the Aberrant can cast spells, can rousing oration, is faster, and can generate more noble deeds more reliably than what Gourmet can. Um, was able to get in, I got a 9 on the charge um, with the Morbegs. They pretty much went in, ate the little Aberrant. Pretty much instantly, um, I put my horrors, buffed them up with deranged transformation on a five up ward, and said, "All right, boys, you're gonna go kill Ushran." Um, went in with the beast flayers as well for just in case I didn't kill Ushran, he would have no monster, at, um, no monstrous rampages, um, and minus one damage um, from the beast flayers. But luckily, with the horrors, I had him with feeding frenzy. Uh, they were five attacks per horror. And they just punched through and absolutely took out Ushran. So he lost Ushran, an Arch Regent, and his backline was under siege. All in turn one. Um, he won the priority, which was good um, for him because it kept him in the game. But yeah, he just couldn't. It was a pretty, it was a pretty like couldn't strong come back blow. from such a such a yeah. turn. Um, I was Love able to tie up his other. Yeah, <laughs> um, he moved the beat, his other beast flayers up, and they got tar pitted in my ghouls, which I then I killed 16, 17 beast flayers, and because I pulled him in, he was in range of the throne, so then his other beast flayers ran, um, so he was down pretty much all of his things by the end of turn two, turn and three. And he only had the one arc regent to bring him back. Well, no, he had Gourmain, and Gourmain can only generate noble deeds if he's sitting on the throne in his hero phase. So turn three, he managed to get it. But by that point, he only had 10 crit flares left and Maris scroll and a... Crypt guard, um, straight up, crypt flares. Yeah, sorry, crypt guard, Maris scroll, Royal Decapitator, and Gormain. And by that point, I had most of the board. I hadn't lost a single unit. Um, yeah, it, there wasn't there wasn't really any game to come back. Um, Rian was still an awesome player. Um... Yeah, he was great. To it was <laughs> it was a detrimental first blow, but he was still like like he was still happy. He was still just enjoying the game. Um, yeah, it was just great. Like we talked about Feck <laughs> a fair bit after, and just being like what we learned from each other's lists. And yeah, it was just great. It was a great way to end the day. Um, I took the win out, and then yeah, I was excited to just see him keep going with Feck as well. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Feck won. So like. That's what matters. 
Um, but yeah, it was an awesome last game, and yeah, Rian was a great opponent. Sweet. And uh, Scott, how how did you all? My f game five was against uh, Will's uh, Grudge, Katie, Katie Daly. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, she was playing, um, failing host, Agakins and Nurgle. Um, again, the only reason she wouldn't have been my favourite opponent is because Glockkin made me poop my pants. <laughs> um, Good. He's, Good. He, he was very scary, and as Josh was saying before, um, they get the charge in the wrong phase. I forgot that. Uh, she mm -hmm. told me. She told me. I nodded. I said, yep. Makes sense. He did a he did a Scott special. You went I, yes, I, I, I understand this rule, and then forget it immediately. Hey, this is not a Scott it, it special. Went in, and, and, and then go. Out. You can do that. That's the thing. Crazy. No, I I moved it, and she's like, ah, oh, all right, now I'm gonna charge them. I'm like, ah, oh, I have made an error, and I'm like, no, no, it's my mistake. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna put that back. You told me. I nodded. That's my error. So, definitely, what definitely. We, so what we did, yeah, I um, did the uh, sneaky, uh, super sneaky special and put the my brute up up the board um, within 14 inches away from the, the three very um, spicy looking uh, beasts of Nurgle. Uh, they, yeah, <laughs> uh, they, they look good. They look very good. So they look yeah, like they've I, done hard drugs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, some, some. Especially the one with the heart eyes. They're, they're, they're looking. It's coming in for a hug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're t posing. They're t posing exactly. <laughs> t posing <laughs> to assert dominance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, she um, she did. Uh, I did super sneaky him up to try and put a uh, problem on the board, and due to that, she took first turn, uh, moved everything up up the field. Um, and the three beasts of Nurgle were coming after the Maya Brute. They, they had a hungry looking, um, hungry look on their face. And, um, I was very lucky, um, that I kept him within 18 inches of, um, Gobsprack to do a redeploy. Um, so I, then I redeployed him, rolled a three, figured, no, I've got Gobsprack. He's got this really good ability. I'm going to re-roll my redeploy into a three. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so then, yep, I find I'll move him back three inches, um, and it didn't matter because he got charged anyway. He held his own though. Um, they did eight mortal wounds to him. Um, mm. uh, sorry, he um, they did about what was that? Five mortal wounds and about three more wounds in combat. It was his finest hour. He knew it was coming, so he held strong. Um, and he swung back. Did about, oh, I think nine wounds. So he took out a beast of Nurgle and then left one on a, gave one an extra wound. So he did very well. He did very well. Um, but yeah, that put her in forward. Um, came into my turn thinking, all right, I'll do what I can. Do some shots. There's things coming. I'll move a little bit forward and maybe I'll anticipate a, a charge and tire into combat. Um... So I moved forward my uh, my ten hobgrots, uh, moved forward all my shooters, kept my bolt boys in position because they were in good. Got to the end of movement, and she's like, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna charge my uh, my plague bearers." I'm like, "Oh no, I've I've made a mistake." Plague bearers charged ten. They moved right out of the way to make a, a nice glockkin sized hole. Um, rolled a nine on the glockkin. Here comes the boy. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Glottius. Just Maximus. for a moment, I forgot that it was my turn, but it was indeed my <laughs> turn still. Uh, so I'm like, well, alright. I guess I'm going to charge some things now. And um, so I charged my, my vulture into the beast of Nurgle, which were off to the side. Um, I did so again. None of us charge uh, got hold one, hold two, hold more for for a moment because we were just we were all stuck in in the middle of the board. We uh, we had things we had to do. <laughs> um, I I did score full battle tactics this uh, this game, but it was it was tough. It was tough coming back from this because this turn I thought I lost, and it was my turn. <laughs> uh, uh, 
So it got into combat. I thought, all right, I'm not going to get a chance to use those. Um, so I also um, charged in 10 gut rippers. Um, she left a uh, sloppity bile piper. He got summoned right into the middle of some yeah, obscuring sloppity. terrain. He, he was looking sloppity. Uh, sadly, no one could actually see him, so I couldn't shoot him. Uh, so I decided to charge into him. thought, all right, I won't get many chances to use those gut rippers anymore. So, because the um, Glockkin was giving him a hungry look. Um, so I wired, I wired a little bit early. So um, the uh, Vulture and the Maya Brute finish off those um, those three beasts of Nurgle. It was good. They needed to get out of the way because they were scary. They had <laughs> scary potential of retreating, charging, doing mortal wounds. I didn't want it. Um, and then, yep, so those, um, Gut Rippers did four mortal wounds to, um, the Glockkin, did four mortal wounds to, um, Sloppity, left them both alive, and he, uh, so Katie decided to, um, split, uh, the Glockkin's attacks into my ten, um, Gut Rippers, two units of ten Gut Rippers and my ten, um, Hobgrots, thought she'd spread some love. You know, give a little bit of coof here and there. Um, she killed about two gut rippers on either end, which was good for me because I only lost one more to battle shock. Um, and uh, she gave uh, a look. Uh, you know, uh, the Glockkin bit his lip, looked at those hobgrots, and they all left. They left. They ju they they just disappeared. Uh, they they got they got stepped on. Um. But, yeah, to that point, uh, Nurgle, they do hurt a little bit. They were doing little mortal wounds here and there the whole game. It was kind of rough to deal with. Um, but my saving grace from that whole game is that I got the double. I got the double, and um, I was able to put my um, uh, Sludge Raker in perfect position of the clock in. And I'm like, all right, I've got to get that charge. Um uh, the, uh, but there was a little bit of room that he needed to get through. And luckily, um, mm. there was a, uh, ability from either the Glockkin or her sub faction where, um, if she rolls higher than my unit's bravery, they have to retreat or take D6. I'll take the D6. That clear, <laughs> that killed two of my gut rippers, left a, a sludge raker sized hole in my life. Mm. Um, so he was able to get through a nice three inch charge in position um, and then from that to the left side of the board Gobsprack moves up, Vulture moves up, Maya Brute moves up we're looking at that snail that's a juicy looking snail on the other side <laughs> no, ridiculous Orticulus was looking juicy, no. he was just sitting there He's just playing so Stardew work, working Valley. On his, he was working on his garden, <laughs> and the bird, the birds came through. Katie didn't set up a scarecrow the because the bird, the birds came in. They wanted that beast worm. They wanted that snail. They wanted to munch. So, he's gonna so I figured, all right, references. I'll get, I'll get the Maya brute uh, in. The Maya brute didn't charge, so the Maya brute went towards Sloppity. Sloppity was not looking good. Uh, the vulture charged into the snail. All right. Now, we got um, five mortal wounds onto the snail. I did a big stomp. It was a big stomp. Uh, that that was my other mount trait. It was meaning. It was a very good day. Uh, it was um, Gobsprack's turn. The only thing he had in... Uh, well, the snail was in position, but uh, I had a uh, beast of Nurgle three inches in front of me, I think. All right. I'll charge into that. I'll roll my dice. I got two sixes. Yeah. I had that boggy miss. I had that boggy missed up. So it was a thirteen. The snail was in range. No. <laughs> so I, I flew over that that beast of Nurgle, and we had two vultures munching on that snail. Pick it on the snail. Go away. Pick, Pick on some of your own size. As the you do, the dogs were eating it. And yeah. then, meanwhile, back on the ranch. The Sludge Raker was there. He charged into the Glockkin, going into combat. Uh, now, luckily, this whole game, um, the uh, Bolt Boys, they were chipping away a little bit of damage. But in classic um, 
uh, Cruel Boys fashion, not a single bloody mortal wound out of them. So I swear to God, was... boys look at me and do like 18 mortal wounds, and then you tell me every second game that you do like none of them, and I'm like, why can't that be me? <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, it was it, it was well and truly a monster mash. Uh, so in comes in comes the Sludge Raker. The Glockkin's got to go. He's got 15 wounds left. All right. Uh, what I decided to do, I put the poison onto the Sludge Raker because I no longer believed in uh, Bolt Boys. They had failed me. <laughs> Your faith so I'm in like, Bolt all right, Sludge Raker's doing poison on fives and sixes. Let's roll some dice. All right, I rolled his first one. Damage is on three. I rolled two sixes. I looked at the Glock in. I said, that'll be eight mortal wounds. <laughs> I roll. I rolled the talons. I looked at the Glockkin. I said that'll be nine mortal wounds. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ! <laughs> I rolled the noisome bite. Is he gonna do it? Get any mortal wounds? He no. wounded. One rend, please. Katie rolls a three. Goes through. She says, "How much damage?" I said, "That'll be three plus D three, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> And then just like that, the Sludge Raker, the little SCP lizard that could, <laughs> killed the Titan that was the Glockkin, and down he went, and suddenly we had a game. I'm so <laughs> lucky I got that double. <laughs> True David mm, and last moment. <laughs> the, the, mm. the sna- and over to the snail, you know, I, um, the, uh, the, uh, the vulture whiffed on his um points. Yeah. He whiffed on his he whiffed on his talon. Whiffed on the jagged Leave sticker. The snail alone. I went to, went to the stinger. I remember one this dice. moment in person. One I remember this stinger. moment in person. I threw that dice and I got a six. No. I said, yes. <laughs> she said, one word. She said no. oh. I said that'll be D six. I rolled a six. No, no more snails. So, you it do? was back on the menu, boys. It was good. It was, um, from that point, uh, it, it was a little bit rough. So she had another beat Nurgle and her, um, what was it? sorry, uh, the Poxbringer. Oh, no, sorry. Um, or the, the other one, which was on the smaller Glock in. All gods. It. Demon, Demon Spew. All gods, Demon Spew. Yeah. He was coming down the board. He did get rid of um, ten uh, gut rippers. He he um, tried to lick my bolt boys, but my bolt boys weren't having that. Um, keep that tongue away from me. Um, <laughs> but uh, kind of ran out of steam at that point. Did some damage, but all of my big dealers were up on her side of the board. Um, the next couple of turns, we were just figuring out points. Um, she was able to keep even for a while because she was able to keep summoning in plague bearers. Um, she was able to score some really good battle tactics and still hold one, hold two. Um, but from that initial advantage I got, I was able to do the rest of the game at full points. Um, it was a fantastic game. Uh, it was an absolutely beautiful way to end the tournament. Um, I did end on 26 to 20 on her uh, her end. Um, so she fought it to the bitter end and did as well as she could uh, but at the end of the day that was another win for cruel boys so oh boy, at cool the end boy, cool boy. the end of that there was four wins on cruel boys i won three and dean won against kyle that means cruel boys got four <laughs> wins and i'm happy about that yeah and that was my tournament that was Very my nice. ted talk thank you for listening <laughs> well after that yarn, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was all of our games. Anyway, see you later. Guys. Scott has now overtaken <laughs> Kyle with the most yapping in a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're you're overtaking me for for shilling your own army. What is happening? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my mojo. <laughs> hey man, something about them noble dudes. Them <laughs> How was the last game, Kyle? What what happened? It was, I guess... That was two-fifths of your last game, Kyle. <laughs> I think it was the most fun game I had during the whole tournament as well. Um, but uh, it turns out that... Um, uh, what is it? Sheen? Sheen? Shem. 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 
Sorry, Shem. You all just said uh, that in unison, Shem. Uh, <laughs> Shem uh, I had a fantastic game. Um, it was it was great, but we spent too much time joking around, so um, we only ended up getting two rounds in. Um, that's I, I, uh, one of the first times. Uh, I think maybe the first time that I've only got to the second battle round, uh, which is wild. But as I said before. We're having too much fun. We were, we were joking about... Um, I uh, had kitbashed my Gorslav riding the... Uh, the Josh, Corpse you got cart. You. Corpse cart. Thank you, Josh. Damn, um, I, I, filled, I filled you in before you even finished asking, brother. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I had him on top of the, the corpse cart. And so um, we were making jokes that it was... Uh, Gorslav's Pro Skater versus um, the, uh, the Doom Wheel Drag Race. That's right. Um, He's running three Doom Wheels. You go, Chef. Four, four, four Doom, doom Wheels. wheels. He's running four, four Doom Wheels. Um, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, uh, There's there, again, there's not much to say. I I ended up losing this game because um, I, I was looking for the for the long game and he put um, a, a, a cannon um because uh, he also had two uh two warp what are they warps with war lightning <laughs> yeah he had uh, a <laughs> cannon two cannons pointed at um one of the objectives so i went you know what i'll give that one up first turn um and so he took first held one two more uh and then um we kind of just um met in the middle for for a, two turns and then um scored like even points um and then we decided um after talking it out that we um we'd ended it at round two uh points as it is and we neither of us will get our our grand strats because um again it was both up in the air for for what we can score um it was one of those um times where like at the start i i was feeling pretty bad because like um it was the end of the tournament and um like I had wiped out half of his army uh, by turn two, and um, was looking forward to to like I'm um, getting into the late game, but um, didn't get to the late game, which is um, a little bit on both of us. Uh, so um, uh, I was, but like I could have um, let it get me down, but those first like two turns and in deployment were just so much fun that like. Nothing could get me down in that game. Like even, even a loss like that, which both of us kind of decided it was like pretty rough. Um, but like, good on you, good on you, Shem. Um, like you're a great player. Like I had so much fun. We both got to to like um, where we uh, we both needed one more win to go positive, and um, you know, I gracefully. After oh, like fifteen minutes of arguments, <laughs> gave it up. Fifteen minutes uh, is the wildest way of saying half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was it wasn't half an hour. Man, you guys were just like talking it out, and I was like, man, I'm gonna go get Bob, and I got Bob, and then like fifteen minutes later, after that, you guys were still chatting. Hey, yeah, but uh, no, we at that point we were chatting about how fun the game was, and um, like uh. It was it was genuinely a great game, and um, I uh, I don't think like um, at the end of the day I don't think I'd change anything about how that game went because it was a great final game um, and a great end to the tournament. So um, I think I'll uh, the only thing I would change is um, me not being such a, a whiny little bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Yeah, got us <laughs> demonetized. We were doing so good. Demonetized. <laughs> we were so good. But yay, that's all of us. Woo. Yeah, no, it was it was a great tournament. An absolute blast. A blast. So yeah. much fun. Mad, mad actually... props to the to the um uh, more tribe boys and, and the mm -hmm. good game there. Like we always we, we go for the one day tournaments and it's always fun. And this was also like amazing. Go to good games uh Maitland. Good game Maitland and support the more tribe boys as well. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Don't know how you can, but just do it. Just yeah. Support. Good on um good good on Bob for on the show. It was great. Yeah. 
Bob did yeah, last show. What do you mean? Don't he was at the T.O. <laughs> 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 but shout uh, out Bob yeah. for setting up. <laughs> yeah. Setting yeah. up. Yeah. Thanks, Bob, for being the uh, sexiest one there. Um, oh, I wish there was an award for that, but maybe, maybe if you come to Port Plunder, oh, oh, get an award for that. Port Sexiest <laughs> uh, yeah. But you can't win two oh, awards, right. so I'll have to win it if you come first. So. Can you win awards being a TO? Sure. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but no, nah, it was a great time. Everyone there was good. It was a mm. fantastic host that ran the store as well. Mm. Um, yeah, we'll be going back. We suggest anyone mm. else too as well. It's a great place. Yeah, and, to go to the and hide your Pepsi. Scott is, Scott is after Scott that. Loves his, yeah, Scott won free Pepsi. Oh, yeah, so awards. Uh, William came in clutch with the best death. Best death. Uh, one, two, three, and baby. Scott came in with best destruction. Best so they did, awards, they did awards very good at this tournament because they actually did it so that you couldn't win two awards. So you won whatever the biggest award was, and then the smaller award would go down to whoever the next in line who wasn't winning a bigger award goes. Everyone's a winner. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah, everyone. So it worked out. Really, it was, <laughs> Almost it was really good. It was really good. And I don't know. It let, Like, I didn't win anything. Carl didn't win anything. But I think we both could agree the the fact that no one just, like, cleaned up and got all the awards. Everyone... Yeah. Yeah, well, not everyone, everyone, but like uh, the, the, every, the, no one got two awards, so everyone was getting something. Um, it, it it didn't leave any sour taste behind. There wasn't any like, oh, it was great. Everyone like Kyle running up to get his best death dice bag <laughs> for Will, and it was just a great time. Be, the whole tournament. You can't be the coolest player. You can't be the best mm. painted army. You're gonna be shit at one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Bob really tried. He tried to get two awards. He went up to the TO halfway through and went, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> slander, bro. No, that was that was for Alex. He was trying that to get was it for Alex. Alex. Yeah, he was trying and to get it for Alex. But... No, that, was, that wasn't even halfway. He was done and he was like, actually, I think Alex should have won that. And he was like, no, Alex won it. Oh, oh wait, there's four more awards. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was such a great tournament. I think it's also... It was insane. And shout out to our opponents. I went mm. in yeah. thinking, oh yeah, I'm taking flesh eaters. I probably should do well. And by the, like, I think the first game, I was just like, nah, this is just a fun time. Like, this is just a fun mm. weekend away. Like, regardless of, yeah, we paid money to go in, but it didn't matter. It was just like, it was just so much fun. <laughs> I paid that. I paid that weeks ago. I, that doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've made that money back. <laughs> It didn't have the tournament pressure, I feel, that a lot of tournaments do. Of, it like, just need. felt so good. Yeah. It was such a fun tournament. I, and yeah. I don't know... I Like, you, you can throw things around. I don't think I know what made it so fun. I just remember ending it, it fun. and feeling happy. Hmm. Mm. For the most part, it was the players. It was on them. Yeah. Yeah. They made Everybody it good. That came, no yeah. bad games. There were no arguments. There was no... Oh, Tio, you need to come watch this kind of game, kind of stuff. It was all very yeah, just everyone fun. behaved. Um, and shout out to Tom for winning. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, more checklist as well. Tom Oliver took it out with a maggot kid of Nurgle drown men with uh, some cheeky little bugs and a bellicor. Bob came in second with his Legion of Bloodlist. Um, Liam big came three, in the big three. With his yeah. of Bob was playing uh, Vampire Lord and Zombie Dragon, Manfred and Neferata in Legion of Blood. Very mm -hmm. funny list. Yeah, and that's the that's the top three. Let's see, yeah, Liam and third. I, I, host host Liam, yeah, yeah. And then uh, best in best in factions, we'll just chuck them in. And players' choice, what were they? Um, best. Oh, I actually don't remember. But I was too fucking out of it. Um, I think best in order was James Landis. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was best in order was James Landis, and best in chaos was Alex. Yes. Alex yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, because he cleans up, cleans out with Slanesh like normal. Yeah, he yeah. does well. Absolute crack player. Um, and then players player, I actually don't. Mm. Show so much attention. I was. Oh, playing. it wasn't me. So like, that's crazy. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can get it up now. That'd be right. Um, shout out to to um John Daly for for um denying <laughs> the most battle tactics. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah, twelve the whole weekend. 12. 12 battle tactics denied over five games. Mm. 
Um, Austin Cranfield won best painted. Best painted, yes. And, yeah, um, so Cra Cra Craig, Craig Anders got it. The coolest got it army because so, four kill bows. Yeah. First place, That's Tom right. Oliver. Second place, Bob Van Emmerich. Third place, Liam Burnett Blue. Wooden Spoon, Andy Glasson. Highlander, Sam Swinson. Buzzkill, John Daly. Player's Choice was Joel Clare slash, uh, and Adam Southwell because there was a runner up. Mm -hmm. um, player's Choice. Best Painted Technical uh, was Austin Cranefield. Coolest Army was Craig Anderson. Best in Order was James kilos. Landers. Uh, best in Chaos was Alex Barkate. And then Best in Death, <laughs> me. And Best in Destruction, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Got him. But yeah, ah. honestly, awesome weekend. Uh, can't wait for the next so one, boys. Fun. So much fun. Uh, I can only hope that Port Plunder will give the same amount of energy. Shameless plug. Yeah, you will find our mug at it. Port Plunder. Gotta aim for it. Yeah. But nah, it was sick. Well, I think oh, that's about nice. it. If there's anything I've else got, that I've got some colours on my guy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got. Let's see if I can get the light. Bro, just I've sat on my ass got... for two hours. Yeah, same. I got nice. some highlights, some colors. It's looking I'm very about nice. to go to bed. I don't know that much. Yeah. And then I got some work on the Angeneth as well. Oh, this is sick. Yeah. It's also got like a uh, um, a Rathalos, which I haven't started yet, and a Great Jagras, which I can't see around me. Um, but That's it's great. Sitting here. Very nice, Josh. <laughs> Josh, has... <laughs> Josh stole my models. But yeah, I think uh, right. the next event that we're going to is the Blood Rights Blood Pack, the team's event. Um, mm. Sydney Slaughter. Um, also, so just announced while recording this was Bathurst GT, which also shout out those boys. Um, mm. I know we'll definitely try and make it. Um, yeah. But yeah. And um, the, the yummiest of zombies, Carl. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and as um I was packing up for my last game, um Josh decided that he'd snack on my zombie. He was he was snacking on some. I was helping him put his zombies back in movement trays, and I had snacks in snack. one hand. I had snacks in one hand and zombie in other, and I put mm. the zombie in my mouth and went, "This tastes weird," and then bit down on it, mm. and then went, "This doesn't feel right." <laughs> and then just spat it out and went, oh, Kyle, I just ate one of your zombies. <laughs> <laughs> On God, uh, like, it's it comes full circle. Zombies will eat you, you'll eat the zombies right back. I had to look Being around, back. honestly. I had to look around. I was like, did anyone just watch me eat this dude? <laughs> if anyone didn't know that we were, like, good mates, like, <laughs> they just thought <laughs> I'd walk up and eat someone's model. Like, mm, this is delicious. <laughs> mm. But yeah, yeah mm, uh, delicious hero sandwich. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, all right, yeah, we're very excited for all the tournaments coming up. Um, we'll shout out Port Plunder again. How many tickets do we have left, Will? Uh, ten. Ten tickets left. Ten tickets left. Counting down. The... Come, come up to beautiful Port Selling Port fast. We've got a lovely Selling venue. fast. Um, yeah. Maybe beer on tap. Like two Maccas. Yeah. You could go to two different McDonald's. One of us will maybe yeah. give you a kiss, or we'll just be like, "Hey, you're really cool for buying a ticket. That's a cool thing to do, champion." Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, now the next ten people get kisses. Oh. We'll, we'll give you terms and conditions of applied. <laughs> terms and conditions applied. Please read it our website. For <laughs> we don't have a website. Bro. We have a website. <laughs> no, we don't. More details. Please buy more tickets. I need money. <laughs> my house. I'm there not actually no in someone else's house. <laughs> There's actually no tournament. We just want to buy more models. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the coin. You get a Bitcoin receipt. That's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. You're, we're going to lock you in a room for two days. Yeah. We're, we're deranged. We're, we're too sleepy. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for everybody idea. who watched up we're to this spiraling. point. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we thanks hope to see boys. you guys at any next event. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank Bye. you for watching. Bye. We'll see you around.